Going to Luanda? Yes. Can you please give me a ride? It depends. I can pay you. That wouldn't even be enough for me to carry those old bags. But you don't understand. Listen here. I'll get on Listen this now. I really need to get to Luanda now. Well, you don't have enough. Is there... Is there anything else you could offer me? You can ask whatever you want. I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> Aren't you going to thank me for the ride? I have paid you more than I should. Best of Let's go. Sagrada Familia, Sagrada Familia. Sagrada Familia, Sagrada Familia. Oh, Do you know uh, where I can find Devo? Oh, I'm so sorry. The best taxi driver in the city of Luanda. How could I not know? 
We will stop nearby with the party. Party? You can sit in the front. Sagrada Familia, two seats left. Sagrada Familia, Sagrada Familia. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Sagrada Familia, we are going. Come on, come on. Sure. Today we have the first anniversary party of Devo. It must be memorable. Nothing can go wrong. Call the sound crew. Check if everything is right. Yes, yes. Okay. When in doubt, call me. Goodbye. Good morning, Mr. Kuwang. Good morning, Nadir. Kilowang, Kilowang, I was just waiting for you. I took care of everything you asked me to. The press release fell like a bomb on the news desk. Everyone's talking about it, including TV stations. That's great. Anything you ever need to get done, just let me know. Thank you, Hender. You're welcome. By the way, Kilowang, don't be frightened when you get into your office. Why so? Mrs. Rosa is there waiting for you. She keeps asking about you. Kiluanji, the illustrious Mr. Gonzalo was not invited to the Rosa. party. Rosa! I know you forgot, but I couldn't let it go without telling you. And I thank you. Kiluanji, you are the editor-in-chief of Devo. But your father is the owner. And you know what it's Rosa, like. Rosa, do you want to upset me? Hmm. Quite the contrary. I just think you shouldn't have organized this party all by yourself. Rosa. This event is a project of mine, and I didn't want to overburden anyone else. But have you taken a good look at yourself? You look like you could have a heart attack at any moment. Let me help you. With what exactly? With the guest list for the party, for example. I can check on those who have confirmed, who is missing, like Mr. Consalves. All right, let's do it then. Take on to get there. Why? Are you in a hurry? Why is there so much traffic? This is Luanda. Why are you so surprised? Don't tell me this is your first time in the capital. And if it were? Then why have you come here? You ask a lot of questions, you know. This is where the drive seems a lot quicker. We get The only thing I want to do is to get to Devo. Nothing else, okay? Okay. Thank you. Ambassador of Brazil also confirmed his attendance. That's great. Oh, Kiluanji. This event will generate more buzz than the new Fall Winter Collection by Chanel. Oh, Rosa, that's what I really hope. I just feel sorry that Cassia cannot be here. But I don't understand why Cassia isn't coming to the party. She especially likes to attend every social event in Luanda. Tell me about it. She confused the date of her flight from New York. Oh, well. She'll only be here tomorrow. Don't you think there's some other motive? She have a boyfriend there? No. Cassia doesn't have a boyfriend, least of all in the United States. Are you sure? Positive. I know that she likes someone. Someone here in Luanda. I just have to find out who it is. Well, may I keep the guest list then, in case something comes up? Of course. I have another copy. Okay. Oh, and as for Mr. Gonzalves, I'll call him myself and invite him. That's great. There's only one thing that's worrying me. What is it? Your father. It's just that it can be so demanding. He picks on you sometimes. But I want you to know not to worry. I'll always be on your side, ready to stand up for you. Huh? Oh, yeah. 
What on earth is all this mess here? Mm -hmm. Is this a newsroom or a street market? It's for the magazine's anniversary, sir. They're taking out a few issues. Avilo, I'm giving you a tip, man. This party will be hot. All of high society will be there. You can be sure, Avilo, it will be sweet. Hello, my dear girls. This is a good omen for a good day. They store beauties. Avilo, my boss is coming by. I'll call. My dear Mr. Javier, how are you? Ah. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Henda, Mr. Xavier, a reporter here at Devo. Don't you remember me? Bring a cup of coffee to my son's office. Coffee? <laughs> Come on, man, did you see that? Oh, well, I was hired here to work as a reporter, and I end up serving coffee. That's not in my job description. I've got my eyes on you. If you go one single cent over the budget with this party... May I speak? You better believe it. As soon as Arturo comes back from Brazil, he will check the I accounts. know that Arthur is the chief financial officer here. But you could have a bit more trust in me, huh? Even more. Didn't you ask to organize this party yourself? Now you just have to prove that it will be a success. Hopefully. And that the sales of the magazine will rise. Once the night is over, we'll talk. It would all work out. Just trust me. I really hope so, Kiliwanji. I'll go with you, Xavier. I don't like this business one bit. But we are not having this conversation here. Come with me. I love it when you invite me to come to your office, Rosa. It reminds me of those days when we used to come here. Javier, you have a look at this list. Kiluanji got it all wrong. Why was wrong? What's wrong? Are we talking about Devo's first anniversary party or of a barbecue at the servants' quarters? I told you. I told you you should let me organize this party. But now there's nothing we can do. We'll just wait and see, Rosa. Wait and see what? The fiasco? You never change, do you, Rosa? Hmm. And when did you stop liking me for being a demanding woman? Hmm? Controlling, that's what you mean, right? I don't know how you didn't make your own daughter come to the party. <sighs> Cassia is no longer a child, Xavier. And you know very well that there comes a time when we cannot make our children do anything. Look at Giluanji. He only does what he wants. I have my eyes on him, Rosa. If something goes wrong, he will be held responsible. He didn't want help with anything. I told him, talk to Paolo Flores. Who's gonna perform? Who? Cabo Snoop. Yeah. Nova Dica. <laughs> Where are you from, anyway? I love the sun. <laughs> I see you don't like to talk about yourself. You don't want to tell me why you are going to Devo. I'm meeting my sister at Devo. There, you know something about me. Satisfied? Does she work there? She's a photographer. Everything is ready now for our photo shoot with Lukenia Gomes. How long will you take with makeup, Marisa? About 20 minutes. Mm. And your sister? Have you heard from her yet? Hey, so far, I haven't heard from Victoria. My mother is so desperate. But if I catch that girl... Hmm. Didn't she keep telling you that she wanted to come to Luanda, Ana Maria? Who Can't knows? How will she get here from Moshiko? With what money? Hmm. They always say where there is a will, there's a way. Ana Maria, light of my life. Oh, Henda, when you start off like that, it's because you want something. Out with it. Take this. Take it to Mr. Javier. He's in Kilowang's office. Henda, look at your gum. She's about to start the photo shoot. Please, Hannah, I still have a few things to take you off for the party. That grumpy man is in one of his moods, but he won't pick on her. <sighs> ah, do hand a little favor. And that way, you can go and see your darling Kiluanj. Oh, Marisa. Kiluanj is the editor in chief, the owner of the magazine, son. Have some respect. No amplifier? Why not, Joel? I told you weeks ago that we would have Cabo Snoop at this party. Right, right. Right. And the generator? Did you check if everything's all right? 
Fine then. Tonight there should be no room for mistakes. You hear me? Oh, Kiluanji. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm forget sorry. it. It's okay. We'll talk later. I'm so clumsy. I apologize, Kiluanji. I wasn't expecting to... To what? To see me here? This is my office. Um, this coffee was meant for your dad. And he must be furious waiting for so long. Listen, Kiluanji, um, I beg your pardon, but I have to go. Where on earth did they go for my coffee? All the way to China? Javier, I'm sorry for insisting, but this list, there are too many people missing. Kiluanji didn't even want to show me. I had to practically force him. Rosa. I spent days chasing him, and he kept making up excuses, always avoiding me. You know something, Rosa? I'd love to see you get angry. Don't tell me that I didn't warn you. Hello. Yes, I'll meet you in an hour. Hmm. This party must be a complete fiasco. Yuri, I still haven't figured out how you dragged me into this insane business of catering for parties. Mom, you do wonders in the kitchen. <laughs> you kids always speak well of your mother's cooking. It's just that this time it's different. I have never cooked for so many people for an event this important. Mom, just believe me. We're going to be a great success. Everyone wants to know who it was that cooked all that beautiful food. Oh, what if something goes wrong? If people don't like it, <sighs> what if someone chokes on a meatball? Mom, mom, stop panicking. Let's just load everything that's missing. <sighs> be careful with the meat sauce, Masanji. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, son, hurry. Stop stressing me, Mom. Oh, Yuri, what if something goes wrong? I don't know how you manage to keep this calm. Mom, I know that this is our first big party, but I'm completely sure that Mofete Catering will be a huge success. But, Yuri, what if you're wrong? You lose all the money that you have made as a model so far, huh? It's a risk I've calculated and planned. I'm working as a model, Jojo is running Mofete, and you Yuri, are Yuri, and you had to go and find an Italian partner. How will he speak well of our food if he eats everything <laughs> they put on his plate? How many times have I told you, Mom? You're the best cook in the world. Mm -hmm. Yuri, what if all those people just like fancy food, huh? No one can resist your cooking. Relax. Oh, the mousse! I forgot the mousse in the freezer. Oh, son, don't you laugh. They say that Mr. Shafir, <laughs> the owner of the magazine, finds fault in everything. So there's no way I can serve them frozen mousse, right? I said I only wanted coffee. It's not exactly caviar. But I gave you coffee if too. If incompetence were a gift, you would be very blessed. It was all my fault, Kilian. I shouldn't have opened the door like that. And... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's my phone. Hello, Mom. So then, has Victoria shown up? Not yet. But where has that girl gone then? What is she up to now? Look there, look there, he's here. Divo's building is that one, all right? I know, I'm not blind. 
listen, if you need anything, my wife Nazare is there. Oh, oh, okay. girl, you, hey, I'm talking to you, hey. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Two sit left, another family. Did you see going. that, hey, Paolo? I was telling you that Nazare and Yori walked there, and she walked away. Ah, she's just rude. Welcome to Devo. Thank you. Lukenya will be on the cover of our next issue. I am sure it will be one of our most successful issues. Thank you. It's a pleasure working with you. Henda, if you please, don't forget to give the invitation for tonight's party to Lukenya. Don't worry, it's all under control. Hello. Hello. This is Anna Maria. She's our photographer. It is a pleasure to meet you. She couldn't be in better hands. <laughs> well, the makeup artist is expecting you, shall we? Yes. Enjoy the shoot. Thank you. Ophelia. That's boring and obvious. Won't you pick up? I still can't understand how my brother married that... that no-good woman. Only a pushover like him will marry her. Don't talk about him like that. Why, is it not true? Oh, I don't believe this. That rude brother of yours rejected my call. I mean, first he didn't invite us to Divo's anniversary party. Then he hangs up the phone on me? <sighs> Is this normal? I won't miss the party of the year. You hear me, Wilson? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, yes. I still have to buy a couple more Chanel dresses and three more Louis Vuitton bags. Wilson? I think a million Kwanzaa should do it. A million? A million Kwanzaa? What on earth do you need a million Kwanzaa's for? Aha! Now that I have your full attention, can you tell me what's going on? Since your partner Philippe went away, you've been very absent-minded. Ah, oh, it's a lot of failure. Are there any problems at the company? I must go to work now. Wilson, you can't fool me. I know there's something going on. Wilson, Wilson, I'm talking to you. Hold on, come back. Mom, what time is the party for the magazine? Have you done your homework, Lukeni? I wanted to catch Kabusunut concert. He's performing today. Couldn't you get the invite? I couldn't, but I will get them. And there's only one way. Hello, I am here to see Anna Maria. Could you tell me your name? You can say it is her sister, Victoria. Okay, let's go. Maria's sister is waiting outside. Who? Victoria. We better not interrupt Anna Maria right now. If she finds out that her missing sister is waiting for her here, the photo session will be over. Beautiful, yes. Shh. Hello? Uh, how are things with my favorite nephew? I'm stressed, aunt. Very stressed. Is it something urgent? Can't we talk later at the party? No problem, darling. But for that, you have to get me the invites. It seems someone forgot to the family. Tell him I want to see Cabo Snoop. That's right. It's unfortunate. Oh, yes. Oh, all right, then. That's settled, then. See you later, then, darling. Bye for now. What did Cousin Kibanja say? <laughs> you can change those. Hip-hop clothes of yours and put on a proper suit. Didn't I say I'd get you the invitations? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Now 
now, Lakini. How do you say high five? Yes. <laughs> the buffoon in this house is your dad, not me. Hmm. Buffoon. That's good to know. Nah, nah, nah. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Did someone see Rosa? I haven't seen her, no. Go find her, now. I have to go to the island, Kilowang. Someone find her. I need to speak to her. Jesus, what a day, man. Good humor sense as regards to this magazine. Now, there. Here are the invitations for Lukenya. Please, she cannot leave here without this, okay? Okay, don't worry, Hindu darling. See you. <laughs> See you. Hello. Who is that handsome guy we should have all never seen? He's the son of the boss. <laughs> hey, you guys. You heard him right. Whoever finds Rosa gets a raise. <laughs> O sorriso mais aberto que de longe ela deixou escapar You know what you must do, right? Yes, madam. Here it is. Half of the amount. The other half you will receive as soon as the work is done. That's not what we decided. There can be no mistakes. The party has to be an authentic disaster. Understand? I'm glad that we understand each other. See you. See you. Anna Maria. Come. Someone's here to see you. A visitor. Who? Ah, your sister. Sister, I came here to stay with you. But where do you think you're going dressed like that, Lukeni? I look very stylish, don't I, Mom? The horror. Hello. Wilson, I'm glad you're home. I've asked you to get your gray suit ready for the party. Dad, Cousin Kulanje got us the invite. Uh, of course. Ha <laughs> ha. Do you think he would ever say no to Auntie Ophelia? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm only here looking for some documents. Here they are. Wilson, you're going back to the office. I don't want to arrive late at the party. My head is not up for parties, Ophelia. Aha! Uh -huh. So there was something going on after all. See you. Wilson? Well. Oh, Mom. Daddy is so stressed out. I just want to know where all this nervousness is coming from. Anyway, go now. Go take that ridiculous thing off and put on the suit, for Come God's on. sake. Don't I look hot, Mom? Look here. Ah, my patience is running out, son. Go! Lukeni, tell your sister if she wears that miniskirt, she won't leave this house. Luigi, Mom sent me to tell you. When will you lose this habit of yours of coming in my room without even knocking? I got it. You are in a bad mood. You think <laughs> I am super excited with going to divorce party? Can you imagine the mothers that will be there? If you want to see your future colleagues, don't you think you should change those clothes? Mom said you won't live here wearing a miniskirt. Our mother knows nothing about fashion. I will be the prettiest girl at that party. You can't do that, Victoria. You can't just disappear like that from Mom's house without a word. The poor woman is crazy with worry. That can be solved. Call her and tell her that I'm here with you and that I'll be staying here in Luanda. Hold on, hold on. But who said that you can stay here with me? Mom needs you. It's enough with me being away. Anna Maria, I'm tired. I'm tired of putting my whole life on hold all because of others. Look, here's what we'll do. You go to my place and when I leave Devo's party, we'll talk it through together. All I right? have a better idea. What if we went to the party and then we decide what to do there? Victoria, I will be working tonight, and you won't go to the party alone. You don't know anyone. You can always introduce me to a colleague. Forget about it. Or to a famous guest. No. Jesus, Anna Maria, you know I have always dreamt of going to That's a your party problem. Like this. Your dreams aren't realistic.
Is there a problem, Anna Maria? I don't doubt it. With Lukenya on the cover, the next issue will sell like hot cakes. I felt very comfortable. Anna Maria is a great photographer. And more. Now you have to promise me something. What? That you'll have fun at our party. Oh, I would be glad to. Don't forget to take the invitations. Sure. My sister was just leaving. That's great. May I remind you that here our policy at Devo is that personal problems stay at home. Anna Maria will send you the sample of the photos. That's great. Ooh. Ah, Rosa, at last. Hi, Kiluanji. A thousand apologies. The insurance company called and I had to run. Lukenya, darling. The Viper Queen there. Ah, ah. Who is she? Long time no see. Ah, how are you, my darling? I'm fine, and how are you? Oh, on the verge of a nervous breakdown on account of With the, the help party. From Kiluanji, this party is set for success. Nadir. <laughs> Bring me a copy of our magazine's first anniversary to offer our darling Lukenya. Okay. But tell me everything. How's work, the travel, your love? I want to know it all, my darling. <laughs> sure, I'll tell you. Here are the keys and my home address. Go there and wait for me, Victoria. But Anna no Maria. Buts. We'll talk later. Marisa, are you all set for tonight? All set on my side. Red chili and the strawberry sauce you forgot. Right. Thank you, Dad. Miss Nazari was going out of her mind. <laughs> if I hadn't agreed with you on seven foot to 500,000 people, I'm sure I wouldn't be going out of my mind. Ah, that is crooked. Don't you dare, Sansao. Don't touch anything here. The dishes must be perfect. Come on. Jesus, Nazari, I was only grabbing a little crooked. Dad, you had better not insist if you don't want to take the couch. And Giorgio, who's late with the basket of fruit? Oh, son, this can't be good. It's a great party filled with rich people, beautiful people. Listen, if you need me, just let me know. That would be the last straw, Sansao. To have you here putting your finger on the food as if you were a baby. Come on, since when you're for the last 20 years of marriage at least. Dad, you had better start your van now. We'll tell you how it went later so that you can tell your kind, okay? All right, son, you know I don't care about that. I'm off. Bye, Sansao. Oh, yes, and sir. look, if I were you, I would hurry with those fruit because Nazare... Eh. I know, I know. She's as nervous as a bride, right? Ah, good luck. Grazie. Bye. Ciao, Bye. And ciao. Ciao, ragazzi. Here is the fruit, huh? Do you need anything else from me? We don't need anything else. We're all set to go. Right. I'd like to see you eating cold snacks for a month and keep up that good mood of yours. There will be no food left. Huh. I have the best mom and cook in the world. And the best partner I could ever have. Ma, that is the spirit. Always keep your eyes on the future. Mofete Ketrin will be the best in Luanda. I'm as certain as my name is Yuri Masano. <laughs> Let's hope so, my son. Let's hope so. There's no point looking like you're going to a funeral, Miss Luwedge. I don't get it. Honestly, I don't get it. Why you pick on my mini skirts? My dear, a black dress is a synonym for elegance, for class, and distinction. What do you mean by class, Mom? Do you really think a mother dresses like this nowadays? I look like a nun with this outfit, the horror. Are we going or not? Because even with these clothes, I don't want to miss the performance of Cabo Snoop. That's it, Lukeni. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mother dearest, I also think that dress is too tight, too tight on you. But I haven't asked you to take it off, have I? But what is it? My dress is perfect. Huh. I haven't put on a pound in centuries. 
Just call your dad and cut I've that out. I've called some 50 times already. So make it 51 times or else no one's leaving this house. It can be. There must be some mistake. I don't think so, Mr. Wilson. <sighs> Philip can have done this to me. It, it must be why your partner decided to travel. All of a sudden and in such a hurry. <sighs> Keep a minute, please. Hi, Luigi. I can't talk right now. Stop calling me. I'm sorry, Dad. Mom really wants to know what time you'll be coming home so that we can go to the party. I know that you're still working, but... <laughs> Give me that. Hello? Wilson? Come home right this minute! Wilson, I will not set foot in that party alone. What do you want? You want me to become the talk of this town? Is that it? Ophelia, I don't have time right now for your fits. Goodbye. Sorry. Show me the numbers one more time. This can't be. I'm even getting emotional. What a lovely party. So classy and elegant. Congratulations, my darling. Thank you, Rosa. I told you. Tomorrow everyone will be talking about this party. I am certain. <laughs> Sorry, would you mind giving an interview for the TV show Flash? Ah, but of course, my dear, but of course. Don't take it the wrong way, but I'd prefer the interview to be with Mr. Kuluanje. He's the editor-in-chief. But Rosa is our fashion producer. She's been with us since day one at Devo. Yes, but I'd prefer the interview today to be with you. All right, then. All Let's right. go. Have you seen this stage, Shavir? It's such a simple, tasteless, tacky, cheap-looking stage. The works of amateurs. <laughs> Have you tasted the canapes? Not bad, not bad at all. Speaking of canapes, the catering service. Well, no comment, right? I think they aren't capable of even serving a children's party. You know perfectly well that I'm right, Javier. Rosa, the only thing that I want is for all to go well, that's all. Ah, it was a good thing that we dressed at work. I didn't have to go home and dress for the party, right? You're right. We'd still be caught up in traffic. Look at your darling over there, giving an interview. Hi, Marisa, you, to tell you're impossible, huh? <laughs> ha, I'm sorry, but hmm, he's looking so sharp and sweet today. Doesn't mm. he? And what about the future? I won't stay here staring at the boss. You stay if you like. Ha, I'm in a relationship myself. Hmm? And your husband is coming. You see? <laughs> Ciao, Mori. Mm -hmm. How are you, Anna Maria? Hello, Jojo. So, dear, how are things around here? Bene, molto bene. It seems everybody is enjoying the food. Nazare will end up in one of those famous restaurants in Paris or London. You ah. see. Aspetta un po'. Anna Maria, what's with the long face, huh? Are you having problems? No, no, I was just thinking that maybe. Maybe I should have stopped at my place just to make sure that my sister stayed there and won't get into trouble. You have a sister? A sister here in Luanda? <laughs> Believe me, I'm just as surprised as you are right now, Giorgio. I, Anna Maria, I don't get why you worry about Victoria. What could she possibly do? Marisa, you clearly don't know my sister. Victoria only attracts problems. If she goes out the door, things can only go bad. But she's never been to Luanda. <sighs> she doesn't know anyone. Victoria is easily dazzled. And worse than that, she is irresponsible. And irresponsible people can do anything. Oh, only God knows what goes on in that little head of hers. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
no club e logo que as vejo Tanta mulher que eu fico louco Aqui mesmo só pedi um beijo Porque mais causaria se for Essa preta me mata Essa pula me mata Essa latona me mata So then, this is our main objective. Take Divo and the name of Angola to every corner of the world. Thank you so much, Mr. Kiluanze. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm, 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 mm. This pasties here are almost as dashing as your beauty here tonight. Thank you. I think that you should consider posing for a magazine, you know? I'm certain that you would leave many people dazzled. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Everything all right? Yes, it is. I'm trying to see if I don't forget anyone. Do you want champagne? I am busy working, Kiluanji. But you can take a five-minute break, Mr. Right? Kiluanji, don't forget that you have to present Kabul Snoop. Please. Don't be late. Well, it seems we both have things to do, right? <laughs> the shame. A woman like me arriving at a party like this without a husband? The horror. Oh, Mom, forget about it. Look, everyone is here. Uncle's here, our cousin, me. By the way, I'll try to get an autograph from Cabo Snow. Hey, hey. No, you won't. Stay where you are. In fact, I want you both with me. Huh. A woman of my caliber cannot be left alone at a party. Mommy, you will have to excuse me because I have people to meet and I will meet them. Hello, Ophelia. How are you, Xavier? I'm fine. And that brother of mine, where is he? offers you a drink and you say you're working? But that's what I'm doing. Anna Maria, you should be happy that the leech Cassie is not here. All she does is follow him around. Huh. Wasn't here. Huh? Cassia. She just got in. Good evening, girls. Good evening, girls. Ah, Kiluanji, my darling. After the success of this party, I am certain that Divo will enter into the international market. Thank you, Rose. <laughs> Thank you. I can't believe it. What is it? Look who's here. Hello, Kilowangi. Hello. <laughs> Surprised? Uh, your mother said you wouldn't come. When would I ever miss your party? Never. <laughs> Well, I have to introduce Cabo Snoop. Sure. <laughs> See you later. I thought you'd never come. But what's the matter? It's hard work to look this great. Cassia, I've already done my share. I didn't mention to Kiluanji that you were coming to this fiasco of a party. And now you do your part. 
Don't dare leave this place without kissing your future husband. You hear me? I already know what to do with Kiluanji. You don't have to repeat it. Of course I have to repeat it. I know you all too well. Hmm. After the failure this party will be, Javier will ruin Kiluanji. And the poor thing will need your love and care so much, dear. Oh, Mom, why is it a failure? What will happen? What are you going to do, Mom? Hello? All set. Hmm, that's great. Don't you forget this party has to finish the exact moment as we planned. Don't you worry, okay? It's going to be all right. Don't forget that you are working with a professional. Come back here, my boss! My invitation, you damn thief! Now what? What am I going to do? Winde, 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 Windex, uh, 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 Que para ter champanhe e cumbu, fazem qualquer business. Winde, ah, winde, oh papá, 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 ah. Good evening. And now, and now for the main guest of Devo's first anniversary function, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the multi-prized Cabo Snoopier. Okay. Hey, what do you think you're going? But mom, it's Cabo Snoop. Mom, let him go, please. I could care less if it's Cabo Snoop, not even if it's Michael Jackson. Mom, please let me go. Mom, please let me go. I'll let you go. But only if you promise you'll stay put. Okay, I will remain here. Lucani? Lucani! <gasps> Mom! Uh -uh. I will kill this kid. I will kill this kid today. And now? And now? Go call your silly brother and let's leave this place right now. What? I told you, Mom, that dress was too tight. But you didn't listen. Don't do this to me. It's still too early, and I've not even met the mothers I wanted to meet, so... Luigi, how do you think I should remain here? Wrapped in toilet paper? Just like that? Go call your brother right now! Go! <sighs> oh. Your invitation, please. You're not gonna believe it, but I've been robbed. So what? Did you hear what I'm saying? They have just stolen my purse. Move away, please. No one enters without an invitation.
Aha! Mom, please, we're not leaving now. Look what you did to my dress. Look here, look! But I never told you, Mama. Really not. You're going to pay for this, do you hear me? You're going to be on a leash like a dog. You need to learn how to stay quiet. But Mama. Shut up, I can't stand listening to you anymore. Let's go, now. Please let me in. My sister works at the magazine. She'll confirm that I've been invited. Lady, please do not insist. I said no invitation, no entry. Shut up. This is the most important party of You're my life. You're going to be grounded for a month, the whole month. You must learn not to do this. Let this not happen again. Let's go. Lukeni. Lukeni. Uh, now go after him. Who? Me? Yes. What do you think? A woman like me doesn't run after guests. Now go after my son! Please, Mom. Ah! Can't you stop shouting? You look like a crazy woman. I'm very healthy. Yes. Any other woman in my place would have been in a hospital by now. <sighs> hey, oh my goodness. <sighs> this is not the life I created for myself. Hey, let me go. The party is wonderful. I'm glad you're enjoying it. But for it to be perfect, there's only one thing missing. been introduced before? Not yet. But it would be a pleasure to do so. My God, <sighs> leaving home without a husband only to return with a torn dress. Oh, the horror. Never, mom. It's not fair. I will never forgive you for not letting me watch Cabo Snow. Do you think it's right? I shall never forgive you. Look, listen to me very carefully, okay? When I'm famous, yes, of course I'm going to be famous. For pity's sake, spare me the shame. What a family. Luigi, go to your room. Look, Annie, go with your sister. But, Dad... Leave me alone with your mom now! Hmm. I can see something is going on here. You know what? Leave it for tomorrow, because I'm fed up with this for today. Felipe. My partner. He embezzles funds from our company. What?! You heard it, Ophelia. We are broke. Finish your drink quickly. I'm done with it. Hmm. Good. Now you can disappear.
Aren't you Anna Maria's sister? What are you doing here? You know what I would like to happen? I haven't a clue. That everyone else disappeared from here? Imagine. Just the two of us for the rest of the night. Cassia. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it when you want to look like a shy teenager. Sorry, but I must go. There are people here that I have not greeted yet. Wait. There is something we still have to do. Photographer. I need you to take a photo. I'm busy right now. <laughs> no, you're not. It's with your boss. You're not going to let him wait, are you? Come. Smile, my darling. What are you doing here? You weren't invited. But I'm not disturbing anyone. You don't want to get your sister into trouble, do you? If I was you, huh? I would leave this place right I now. beg your pardon. What do you mean, trouble? How is your sister going to explain your presence here without an invitation? It's not going to look good for her, my darling. Is that a threat? Listen, my dear, I am... Rosa? Oh, ah. my darling, I haven't seen you for Hi. so long. Selma, my dear, how are you? Gorgeous as ever. Can't you see? Sure, of course. Always beautiful. Oh. Wilson, let me guess. Are you telling me that Philippe, your partner, took away all the company's money and ran? Is it true? That's so, Ophelia. Practically nothing left. Really? Wait a moment. That's very vague. What do you mean, practically nothing? No more money. No more money to pay for your dresses, cars, servants. Oh my God! I warned you! I told you a million times not to trust this idiot Philippe that one day he would stab you in the back, but you never listen. You never listen because the whole world You know world how is... to really make me feel guilty, don't you, Ophelia? Do you want me to cool it? All right. Okay. You have a slight problem to sort out. Wilson, what are you gonna do now? I don't know. What? You don't know? Wilson, don't just sit there, do something. What, Ophelia? What must I do? I'm just going to take a photo of Javier, and then I'll disappear. Have you seen him? You're leaving? OK. What about that glass of champagne with Kilwanje? Oh, Marisa, can you please stop provoking me already? You're worse than my sister. For your information, I've just taken a photograph of Kilwanje with that boring Cassia. Just like that, close to each other. So, Anna Maria, what's the problem? It's just one photo. And I saw them kissing each other. What? Yes, this is it. I've had enough of this. I'm only going to take a photo of Javier and go home to my sister who is there and God knows what she's doing. I need to get out of here. Oh, Cassia, I only asked a simple question. Can't you at least give me a yes or no? <laughs> yes, Mom. <laughs> I kissed Kiluanji. Finally. But, ma'am, you have no idea. <laughs> it looked like I was kissing an... an old sponge. I can see her. Those are details. Simple details. Hmm? What matters is that things are happening exactly the way I expected. It's going to be unforgettable. <laughs> So, are you enjoying the party? I am. But you stay here chatting to me. It's going a bit better. We hardly talked to each other before you disappeared.
but now I'm here, right? So, Mr. Xavier, what do you think? I have nothing to say for now. I told you everything would be perfect. Yuri's catering food is divine, don't you think? I have had some good comments around, but let's see how things are going till the end of the night. Aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? Kiliwanji is not my friend. He's my son. Mr. Xavier, can you please explain to me what on earth are you doing here, Victoria? Are you telling me you two are sisters? We don't look like each other, true, but we are sisters. I didn't know you had a sister and that she would be coming to the party, Anna Maria. I didn't know she would be here either, Kilwanj. Yes, I didn't check if we would arrive in time. Well, it's time for the speech. I have to leave. Anna Maria, let's go. Go now, Mr. Javier. Yes, the more pictures you take, the better. Good work, sister. I didn't introduce myself. I am Victoria. I'm Kilwanj. Pleased to meet you. It's funny, Anna Maria never spoke to me about you. I arrived today in Luanda. I came from Mexico. You staying or are you on vacation? I came to stay. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for being here. Today is a very This function will be remembered for many years to come. Mom, can you please tell me what you have planned? Shh. A year ago, many people questioned Devo's success. Today, the only question remaining is how much we can achieve. What is certain? is that it will go far. Therefore... What's going on? Haven't you noticed yet, silly girl? The party's off. I'm very sorry. We don't know what's happened. Please be careful when leaving the room. Oh, my love. You must be feeling very dreadful. Come, let's go away. You need a massage. What massage, Cassia? Let me talk to the people. I have to apologize to the last moment. Take this. Why do I need this? You don't have to take it. But Wilson, don't you dare spoil my couch with your drooling while you sleep. Are you forcing me to sleep on the couch? You have until tomorrow to sort out all this mess your partner dropped us in. But he ran away with all our money. What do you want me to do, Ophelia? That is all your problem. Being broke is not for Ophelia. Look at this, Rosa. How was this possible? Huh? Xavier. And on top of that, they just told me there's no backup generator. Can you this believe it? This is incredible. It? How can power go off in the middle of my speech, Rosa? It's really incredible. How could you rely on Kiluanji? I told you he didn't have the capacity to organize a function Rosa, like this stop! One. It's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Marisa, did you see Victoria? It's difficult to see anyone here, Anna Maria. But where is that insipid woman? To top it all, she's sitting there and talking to Mr. Javier as if they're all schoolmates. What? Yes, but she's not wasting her time. I promise you, Marisa. Just look at this, guys. What are we going to do with all this food? Maybe the power will be restored. My God, but everyone is leaving, huh? I really had a gut feeling that something was going to go wrong. And now, tell me what's going to happen to our company. Huh? Oh, oh, be careful. Watch out. You don't want to hurt that beautiful little princess foot of yours, do you? Did I tell you before that I'm a journalist at Devo? So I was just thinking, what if we go back to my place and I interview you? An exclusive one. 
blue one juice more acid than a lemon, mom. Poor little thing, Cassia. He has no idea of what's coming. Oh, my God. What are we going to do now? Me, my dear. Nothing. That's all for the press now. I can't even imagine what will be in the news tomorrow. Can you say it's a good morning with all this rubbish in the newspapers? Devo's function was a fiasco. Now explain to me, how could you let this happen? Devo's function left in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together so perfectly. What a pleasure. But mom, just explain to me, how can you remember all that on your own? You just have to be focused, Cassia. After the Devo's function, Javert is going to fire Kiluanji. <gasps> Do you really think so? And after firing his incompetent son, he will promote me to be the editor-in-chief. A position that should have always been given to me. <laughs> so, does that mean I must stop seducing boring Kiluanji? Never! White! On the contrary. But mom, when you become the editing chief, remember your job, Cassia, is to gain Kiluanji. Keep an eye on him and well away from Devo. So you're going to insist on this idea of marrying me without push over Kiluanji? That is fun the men tell with or without Devo. Kiluanji is a rich man. And when he inherits his father's wealth, he will become even richer. Oh, Mom. Don't waste your sweet voice on me. Save it for Kiluanji. Because now more than ever, he's going to need your sweet support. But they sabotage our party. I can't believe what you are saying, Kiluanji. It's true, Dad. The fuel supply pipe of the generator was cut off. That's why it stopped. Stop inventing excuses, Kiluanji. You look like a child who is breaking his toy and hiding it under but the carpet. But you've got to believe me. I have to take decisions. What do you mean with that? Convene an emergency meeting at Devo. Arturo arrives from Brazil today and I want him at the meeting. To convene the financial manager of the magazine? I want everybody. Can I know what you're going to do? Convene the meeting and you'll find out. I don't believe this. Devo's function was a real disaster. Look, darling, look! I couldn't care less about it, Ophelia. Very well. What does that mean? That you spend the whole night awakened thinking about a solution for all our problems? So, you think the problems can be solved through the touch of a sleep? Tell me, darling. Please tell me that you have a brilliant idea to get us out of this mess. No, I haven't. What? The only thing I can do now is to go to the bank to see if something was left. If there's any money Philip couldn't get his hands on. So what are you waiting for? Move! Go to the bank and find out if the world has ended for us. And so, Devo's function 
ended up becoming a nightmare of the year. Good morning, Mr. Kilowanch. Nadir, please convene an emergency meeting for this afternoon. Everybody must be present. Yes, sir. Stay that it's my father's request. And ask Anna Maria to come to my office with the photos of the function. Anna Maria is not here yet. Not yet? She phoned saying she has a personal problem. She says she'll be in later. Answer me. How did you manage to be at Divo's function yesterday? Not this conversation again. We went to bed talking about this matter. We woke up talking about the same. Victoria, just tell me something. I just want to know if it was you who stole Lukenya Kumesha's invite. But who do you think I am? I never stole anything. Victoria, Victoria. I just wanted to have some fun. What's wrong with that? You should have stayed at home as I told you to. Did you see Shavir's face when he found out that you are my sister? But now it's all over. What's all over? You're going back to Luena. I was robbed, remember? I don't have any documents. You'll take care of that when you return to Moshiko. Anna Maria, you can't do such a thing. I don't have time to argue with you anymore. After what happened at yesterday's function, the magazine is in big trouble. And as it is, I'm already running late. Take it. What for? It's to pay for your return trip. When you reach mommy's place, phone me. I want to make sure you arrive safely. Good morning, Nadia. Good morning, Miss Rosa. Is Kiluanji in already? Yes, madam. And just between us, let me tell you that he's showing a hard face. I can't believe this, Rosa. Indeed, Kiluanji. Our first anniversary, and it ended like a tsunami. It could not have been worse. I couldn't sleep. It was like a fashion show attended once in Milan. There I was, when all of a sudden, the roof of the warehouse fell over the catwalk and people were running all over the place. What a disgrace. Disgrace is what's awaiting us, Rosa. My father is in the mood version of the beast in the darkness. I can imagine. And what did Xavier tell you? He's asked me to convene an emergency meeting here at Devo. What for? That's what I would like to know. Mm. But don't be nervous, Kiluanj. You know that I'll always help if I can. Hmm? Rosa, what happened yesterday at the function was not by chance or by accident. How come? We were sabotaged. No. They cut the fuel pipe. Uh, but who could do such a thing? I don't know. But... Do you suspect anyone? Not yet. But you can be sure that I'll find out who did this to Devo's function, for sure. I don't care less who put the lights off. Good. Forget this matter once and for all. Oh, my dear. You know what everybody's going to remember? Your cupcakes. <laughs> you can dream <laughs> about it. They'll remember it for being a disaster, for sure. Ah, Nazare, you look more like an Italian mom. Everything for you means the end of the world, huh? Guys, our first function, our first fiasco. Watch out, Yuri. You may end up driving a scrap car like your father. Oh, Mama, just because Divo's function ended up in the dark doesn't mean my fitting will also... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Forget what happened, huh? What matters is what we're going to do, huh? What do we do, Giorgio? <laughs> Nothing. No one will ever hire us. Mama... Please stop cleaning these tables. You leave them full of holes. A hole? The hole is in your bank account, son. <laughs> You're going to lose everything you invested in this madness. And me too, Mr. Giorgio. Ah, ma. The function was a failure because of the lack of the lights. Uh, people love the food, huh? Do you believe someone will hire the caterer of the worst function of the year? <laughs> ma, let's be calm, okay? Take a deeper breath, prepare the bill, and move it forward, eh? Georgia, we've invested everything, really everything, in the diva's function, and all went wrong. Look, honestly, I believe in saints, but I'm not expecting a miracle. 
Georgia went to the catering early in the morning. I think Nazare couldn't sleep because of the function's failure. No reason to be worried, Marisa. The food was marvelous. Yes, but she's concerned there will be no more requests for quotations. What if they lose everything they invested? Hi, Marisa, just forget about it and be positive. The food was excellent. The problem was Devo's function, isn't it? Yes, you're right. Hush. Nadir just told me Kilwanji wants to see the photos of the function. But my friend, I really don't want to move into that office. Don't tell me you're still thinking about the boss and Kasia. Hold on, Marisa. You must think I don't have anything to worry about, isn't it? Hmm. Do you? Have you forgotten Victoria? Ah, well, the shameless sister. I just hope she's not going to make any more mistakes and go back to Moshiko. Is she returning home? I gave her money for the trip. By now, she should be at the airport. Português, 20 anos no cota. Vou-vos mostrar como é que as tecnologias de hoje em dia funcionam. Seca! A prima Maria toca tambor, coitada mulher é dor, é só dor. E era brinquedo dos vizinhos, até estigava os seus dendeus. A sua cara era de assustar, assim diziam as boas outras do pai não queriam lhe enxotar. Mas ela disse isso um dia irá acabar Pois o tempo lá passou A miúda viajou Foi pro Rio de Janeiro Encontrar o senhor doutor Pois o tal silicone da moda Lhe pôs inspiração, corpo de violão E quando voltou pra Guimbi Maria Grupo Tetas na via Não entenderam? Vou falar de longe Ai You can't imagine the embarrassment I faced at the function. Oh, Mrs. Ophelia, I said I swear I didn't I'm do sure it. I'm sure you did it. Yes, it was you. When I in the dress. I swear, Mrs. Ophelia, it was The shame me. I had to endure because of you. Now, beat it. Go. The horror. Sila. <laughs> I will be deducting the value of the dress from your salary. Bye for now. Wilson. Wilson, I'm glad you're here. How did it go at the bank? Not well. Don't tell me we don't have any money left. We're completely broke, Ophelia. And what are you going to do? Wilson, you know that if I can't sleep, I'll grow wrinkles. There's only one solution. What? Just one? What is it? To sell all we have. No! <gasps> I'm not giving away my assets! <gasps> There's no other solution, Ophelia. We've got to start selling our house. Congratulations. The photos were excellent. Unfortunately, they couldn't save the function. But they can mitigate. We can publish them in our next issue and show that the party was a success until the lights went off. Have you seen Cabo Snoop's pictures? At least the power didn't go off during the show. Otherwise... Well... Do you need anything else from me? No. We are done. Nadir told me that your father has called an urgent meeting for everyone. Yes. Do you know what's going to happen? When you talk about my father, it's impossible to foresee. But if it was sabotage, as you've mentioned, your father can't blame you for it. If only I could catch whoever sabotaged the generator. Congratulations for the excellent job. Thank you. <laughs> But what's that? You're counting the money? You think I short paid you? 
Watch out, okay? I'm a woman of my word, an honest woman. <laughs> Don't be offended, miss. Don't forget that insurance has expired. Keep your money and go away. I don't want to see you in Luanda anytime soon. Do you hear? No! I will not leave my house! Listen, darling, I know, but there's no alternative. It's going to be hard if we don't sell the house. Ophelia, No, really. Wilson! Find another way of getting us out of this trouble you've put us in. I know it's going to be hard for you, darling. But there's no other alternative. If we don't sell the house, reduce expenses, it's going to be difficult, Ophelia. My God, my God, how can this happen? How does one wake up from this nightmare? How? <gasps> I'm going to change my job. The kids will have to change their schools. But why must I change my school, Dad? Look, Annie. <laughs> Look, Annie, go inside. We'll talk later. But I don't want to change into another school. Oh, son, can't you see we're in the middle of a crisis? Go back to your room. <laughs> why is everybody treating me like a five-year-old? I'm not going to stay here with you discussing my social suicide, and you know why. No, I have no idea. Because we both know there's only one way to solve this financial problem. Do we? You're going to ask your brother for help. What? No, no, never, never. Forget it. Wilson, Xavier is the owner of Devo and many other companies. No, forget it. Wilson. <gasps> He's not short of money to help us. But do we really have to change schools? Hmm. Hmm. Don't tell me it was another one of your tricks, Lukeni. Obviously not. Hmm. But something is going on. That is very nervous. Mom says we're in crisis. I don't understand why. Do you think this fits me well? I don't know. But I also don't know what's happening with me. I'm asking for an opinion for someone who is still growing up and doesn't even know about good taste. Whatever happens, Reggie, I don't want to lose my staff at Kaduro. Yeah. That ridiculous infant mockery, that's what it is. Kaduro is growing, but it's not updated. Ah, if there's something that needs to be changed, it's not our school. What do you mean? I'm going to change my life, Kamba. Really? And how? Very simple. I'm going to find a job as a photographic model. <laughs> Mother will kill you, Luigi. But for that, she must first catch me. If I have to depend on those two crazies, I will not survive. Don't insist, Ophelia. I'm not going to ask my brother for money. How dare you tell me, your wife, that you can't ask for help from the only person who can help us? Xavier spent his whole life trying to prove I was a failure. I'm not going to give him the pleasure to trample me. Huh. Wilson. You have two choices. Either be trampled by Xavier's Italian shoes or by my high heels. Try to understand once and for all. Xavier is no answer to insolvency. Of course it is. That's why it's so simple. Either you go and talk to him, or I will. Have you notified everyone about the meeting, Nadir? Yes, I have. I've sent Mr. Arturo a message to advise. Well, hasn't he returned from Brazil? The flight arrived this morning, but he hasn't replied yet. And Henda, don't they live together? He may know something about Arthur. Henda has also not arrived yet. Call him. I want those two here as soon as possible. It's best that Henda remembers that Arthur arrives today and has had the house cleaned. I honestly never understood how those two share the house. Arthur is Mr. Need and Henda. Well, he looks like a typhoon. Wherever he is, he leaves everything scattered all over.
bartender. Abdur, have you arrived? Looks like it. Can you tell me what's going on here? Don't insist, Ophelia. I'm not going to ask my brother anything. Wilson! Not even a pat on my back, let alone to ask him to take us out of this misery. Wilson, can't you understand you have no other choice? Ophelia, I'm not going to let my brother play the father figure in my life. I can handle Shevia very well. I can't afford to live without my credit card. Oh, Ophelia, Ophelia, have you any idea how he's going to take advantage of this to make us feel like rubbish? That we are the idiots of the family, you see? That we don't have money to eat. Yes. You might be right there. Hmm. Shavia would spend the rest of his life reminding us of how thankful we should be. You see, Ophelia, in this family, we have to solve our problems ourselves. Not ours, yours. We are penniless because you let your partner cheat you. I had nothing to do with this. So then let me solve things my own way. If you think I'm going to wait centuries for you, you are very wrong. I'll give you some time. Try and resolve the issue. But don't take too long. Do you understand? Do you? Promise that you won't talk to Xavier? Ha! But for goodness sake, leaving this house or changing the kids' school is out of the question. Okay. I'll do my best possible. It's not enough. Do the impossible. Wilson, either you solve this problem or I'll go speak directly to your brother Xavier. Handel, please pick up the phone, my goodness. Who if Xavier arrives and everyone isn't here for the meeting? Heads will roll. For sure. Do you know how many times I tried to call that irresponsible Handel Marisa? Give up. You're not his mommy. The guy doesn't change. I can only begin to imagine what must have happened after the party. He's with another woman, for sure. Of course. He must have seduced the woman yesterday at the function and forgot he has a job. Do you want to bet with me, Marisa? Sorry, Ato. I forgot you were arriving today from Brazil. I know you have a problem with figures, especially dates and times. But weren't you supposed to be at the office at this time of the day? The magazine is not going to close. You're already supposed me. to be at Devo, Henda. I just came home to take a quick shower. Bye. Baby, wait. I don't have your telephone number. Do you really believe that after all this, you're going to see me again? If I ever return to this home, it will be for another person. <laughs> These women are really blind. Tender, I already told you, this house is not a brothel. Oh, don't exaggerate, Arthur. There are no orgies here. It's one at a don't time. Don't change the subject. Who is this woman? And what does her father own? Don't start. Tell me, what is her family's net worth? I don't know. She's the daughter of Schwarzenegger. Ah, the building tycoon. What a coincidence. It's incredible, mate. These women look at you with such a hungry look. If only they knew who you really are. Oh, so it's about me then. These women don't know that you're gay. Oh, Henda. Before you worry about my love life, you should worry about the urgent meeting that we've got at Devo. So what really happened at that function that night? Meeting? But what meeting? The meeting for dismissing Kiluanji and for my more than deserved promotion. Mm-hmm. And what makes you so sure that's going to happen? It's obvious, Cassia. After the function's failure, Javier is going to kick his son aside. <laughs> I can see what's going to happen. Kilwanji is going to become whiter than a waterless flower. That's why you're going into action now. Mom, take it easy. He hasn't been kicked out yet. That's what's called anticipated game. Do you want to know how? First, you invite Kilwanji for a dinner at home. Then... 
You tell him I have a commitment out. Musica deixa explicar. O Indeca então é um boy que pra subir na vida agarra a barriga do rico. Windem, ah, Windem, oh papá, Windem, ah, Windem, oh papá, ah. O Indec também são ah. aqueles juiz que só querem ah. damas de carteira ah. cheia. Windem, 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 ah. Windem, oh papá, Windem, ah. Mas como é o I? O Indec então quer dizer o quê? O I, se não estás a compreender, hum, fica só já. Windem, 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 ah. Windem, oh papá, ah. O Indec são aquelas boas que até vendem a irmã para ter vida boa. Windec, ah, Windec, oh papá, Windec, ah, Windec, oh papá, ah. O Indec também são aqueles juiz que para ter champanhe e cumbu fazem qualquer business. Windec, ah, Windec, oh papá, 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 ah. That chick. Hello, Giorgio. How are things there at the catering? Uh, the situation here is not easy. A lot of the food was left over. We're packing up and thinking what to do with so many rissoles, uh, croquettes, uh, chicken, samosas, and so forth. I don't know how you guys want me to relax with so much good food going to the trash. I don't know. Mom, we are going nowhere by simply panicking without a solution. Huh. And wasting is the thing. If our lady of Fatima was to see all this, we'd all go to hell. And she's feeling so down for so much food being wasted, and she keeps saying no one will ever hire our catering, and there's not going to be failure, and huh? so on and so on and on. Well, I'm here to try and figure out a solution. Uh, it's going to be very difficult. Everything's going to be fine, Giorgio. The function went sour for Divo. I guess we're all saying good things about the food. Wait, Marisa. I think I've just found a solution. I'll ring you just now. Ciao. Hello, Giorgio. Giorgio. He hung up. Hey, photographer. Do you think you can send me the photo you took at the function? <sighs> the photo? Which photo? That's one where I'm embracing Kilo Angie. <laughs> ah, I see. Yes, I can explain. It's just that I would like to keep it as a souvenir to show to my grandchildren when we are old. <laughs> <laughs> the photo is not yet developed. I'll send it later by email. I hope so. You better not forget it. Have a nice day. What did the bitch want? The photo of her holding Kiluanj. Thank God you didn't take a picture of them kissing. My sister should by now have arrived in Moshiko. Don't change the subject, Anna Maria. We're talking about mommy's little girl over your dear Kiluanj. I'm not interested. What I need is to keep my sister from causing any trouble until she gets to Luena. What? Is this cell phone really good? It's very expensive. That's the price. Can't you sell it cheaper? Not a chance. This is the price. It'll make my day. Okay? Your lady full of charm. Take it. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thank you. But I've already told you. I've got the solution for the leftovers of the function at the Devo. That's it, Jojo. With so many hungry people, I don't have the guts to dispose it. Mama, let's hear Jojo's idea. Well, how about we offer the food to the owners of the shop that will be launched today? What? See, we can offer our food and promote our dishes from a fete. I see. Great marketing idea, Jojo. We will leave the whole of Luanda talking about Mofete catering. Huh? I was looking for you. Is there something that you need, Rosa? Yes, young lady, I want to talk to you. About what? About your sister.
I hope I'm not late for this meeting, my friend. Oh, you and this love for meetings, pal. But what does the porcupine want this time around? Henda, Henda, if Xavier ever finds out that you call him that, you'll be shown the door. I'm going to be very straight, Anna Maria. I've already noticed that your sister is the type of a person who can be characterized in two words, cheeky and inopportune. Rosa, I had absolutely no idea of Victoria's coming to the function. But she did come. She came to Devo, she went to the function, hmm. And all that after she evaporated one of the invitations of Lukenya Gomsh. Coincidence, isn't it? And what do you mean with all that? You think I can figure out one plus one? Rosa, this- Forget it. It's very simple. I don't want to see your little sister here again. Are we clear? Don't you worry. By this time, Victoria should be miles from Luanda. Hmm? Good. Hello, Mr. Archu. Did you have a good trip? Yes, I did, Nadir. It would seem things aren't running smoothly here. You mean didn't go well, isn't it? But it was good just until the lights went off. Okay. Has the meeting started? Not yet, but Mr. Chevier is here already. And where is he? He's in Mr. Kilwenji's office. Thank you. Did you notify everyone about the meeting? We can start as soon as you want. Very well, then. Let's start. Dad? Yes? Aren't you going to tell me what you're going to announce in the meeting? After all the shame you made me endure yesterday, Kliwanji, you've lost all the right to know the news in advance. Hey, Giorgio, I can't believe that the owner of the shop agreed to let us have our catering. Obviously, it's a free, huh? <laughs> And it looks like people are enjoying it. So what are we waiting for? Start serving. Right? Andiamo, andiamo. Ladies and gentlemen, this meeting is starting. Is everybody present? Not yet, not yet, Mr. Javier, not yet. But who is missing? We are missing Anna Maria and Marisa. Victoria has this way of making problems. Some people have that endowment. 24 hours in Luanda and you've seen already the trouble which she is into. She could have affected me. Imagine Rosa firing me. Hey, hey guys, come quickly. The meeting is starting and you're the only ones missing. Victoria is gone, Anna Maria. You don't have any more reason to worry. By now, Victoria should be somewhere in Moshiko. Well, at least she'll be away from Luanda for quite some time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to book a room, please. <laughs> sure. Uh, do you want a single or double room? Obviously a double bedroom. I hate tight spaces. Very well. Uh, and for how long are you staying in Luanda? For an indetermined time. Decisions, that's what is required from a competent businessman like me. After the divorce fiasco yesterday, steps must be taken. And that's what I'm going to do. What type of steps, Mr. Shafir? Steps that will ensure the credibility of the editor of this company. So does that mean there's going to be changes in Divo's management? Exactly. And with effect from the next issue. These changes in Divo's management, what do they mean? Am I going to be fired? Did I mention firing anyone? If that's your intention, don't just beat about the bush. You can do it now, right away before everybody. Liwanji, if you want to leave, submit your resignation. But don't use me as a scapegoat to your dissatisfaction. So does that really mean there's going to be a new editor-in-chief? What I want everybody to understand is very simple. When it comes to any of my companies, 
Incompetence pays the price. And that's all for now. You will all be informed as soon as we have more news. Kiluanji. Kiluanji. Don't feel like that. Don't let this thing. Those are not now. Leave me alone. Hello, Uncle. I need to talk to you. This is all about the mess at the divorce function. Unfortunately, I couldn't attend Kulanji. It's not about that, Uncle. I'm phoning you about my father. I'm pretty sure he's going to remove me from Divo's management. Serious, Uncle. Can you meet at the magazine's offices? going to belong? Uh, no, no. Your identification, please. I don't have. Sorry? I was robbed and I'm waiting for my new ID card. But not even a passport or... They took everything. You're not going to force me to relieve the experience of being robbed, are you? Without any documents, I can register you. Hmm. Now, surely you can make an exception. Isn't that what one does in exceptional circumstances? I regret, but there's nothing I can do. But you don't understand. This is a temporary situation. As soon as I get my new document, we will settle all. Sorry, you don't have... I came to Luanda to work. I am a businesswoman. I have a very important meeting with a very boss. Right here at your hotel. I understand. You don't want me to tell Mr. Chevere boss. You didn't allow me to stay at this hotel, do you? I knew you were going to be understanding. So, are you going to take us out of bankruptcy? It will be encouraging to hear you saying good luck. <sighs> okay. Good luck. Satisfied? Now go and take care of your family obligations. Ophelia, stop pressing me. Didn't I tell you that I'm going to solve the issue? Continuing to sustain the family? Putting food on the table? Ensuring the harmony of the home? Satisfying your spouse? 
Does it say something to you, my darling? I just need some time. Well, I'm now going to Kinasisha, and then I'll call her to speak to Kulanji. Mm -hmm. You must be very careful, handsome. Watch out, or you just may find me having a conversation with Xavier. Don't do that. I already asked you. And don't talk to the kids about this. No, no. It's not going to happen. At this time, they're in school, remember? Missing school to go swimming a bit, I can understand that. But to watch a whole lot of model casting, I can't. Lukeni, please, I don't want to speculate on that. Here comes trouble, Luigi. Did I force you? Did I ask you to come with me? I didn't, did I? It was you who wanted to come. Our parents forbid you to become a model. If they catch us, we will be punished for a hundred years. Ah, they are very busy arguing with each other. You know, I'm not going to sit waiting for them to decide my life, okay? Do you really believe you stand a chance in the casting? Okay, because the magazine is owned by cousin Kilo Anji, but... But what? Huh? Do I really need his help? I don't need his help. I've discovered this casting on my own, right? And I'm going there like any other person. Get this in your mind. Okay, good luck. I hope all goes well. Let's go. Ah, Elon Nazari, my love. So how's the opening of the shop happening there? Your food must be going well. They must be licking their fingers, right? Sasel, this time, nothing is going to be left over, my love. They're devouring everything. And I'm not sure if Yuri will be in time at the magazine's casting. This is not stopping. I can't cope at the shop, and it's all finished already. Did you hear? Today Let is all to a work. great success. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Please, mm. will someone give me some information about the catering firm? You are talking to the right person. All right. More fair catering deals with any type of events, okay. anniversaries, weddings. Uh -huh. Just order, mm -hmm. and we will do it. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes, Mom. It's Victoria. No, I'm still in Luanda. I'm going to stay for a while. You know how Anna Maria is. She's got a golden heart. She's changed her mind and let me stay here. Yes. Don't worry. Okay, love you. Now that I've fooled my big mom, let's now call my little sis. Hello, sister. Yes, everything is okay. Yes, I'm in Mexico, and I'm home. Good. Let me talk to mom. No, not now. It's difficult. Mom is outside taking care of the clothes. Why don't you just call her? Anna Maria, it's for you. Yeah, well, listen, Victoria, I gotta go now. Give mom my love and behave yourself. And now, let's deal with you, Xavier Voss. You old wog. You are the financial manager of the magazine, Artur. I can't believe Xavier didn't tell you who's going to replace Kiluanj. I'm just as surprised as you are. I've just returned from Brazil and I hardly had time to unpack my luggage and I'm already facing this tsunami. And what if Javier is just bluffing? How come? Imagine he just wants to frighten Kiluanji for what happened at the ah, function. Ah, Maria, stop telling me stories. Do you really think so? The porcupine threatening and doing nothing? I doubt, pal. To me, he knows perfectly well who's going to be the new editor-in-chief. Javier is not a man of many words. As far as I'm concerned, I think I know who's going to sit in Kiluanji's chair. Who? 
Nadir, I need a favor from you. Get me the contact for the company that makes these business cards, okay? Yes, madam. Your cards are finished, aren't they? Almost not yet. It's just that I'm ordering new ones with a slight change. Is it? Okay. Here, where you've got fashion producer, it will be changed to editor in chief. <laughs> I'm a very attentive person, and no one takes me away from the idea that there is something strange going on between Rosa and Xavier. What are you talking about? In bed? Of course. On Planet Henda, everything boils down to sex. What? Do you think they're lovers? Where I will be, I don't know. One thing I guarantee you, after the prodigal son has screwed things up the way he has, he will not offer a promotion to Rosa. And how about going back to work? It'll be way more productive than to speculate about the boss's sex life. Hmm? Dear colleagues, I'm going to start studying a great strategy which will make Rosa's eyes shine. Why am I not surprised with that? What? What's up with you then? Each one will deal with the future editor-in-chief the way he deems best, you know? The models for the Ocean Dream casting have just started to arrive. To the studio? Let's go. If you don't have everything ready on time, Madame Betancourt will have a heart attack. The photographic equipment is ready. Just the lights to be adjusted. Let's go. Yes. Hello. I came to do the casting for Ocean Dream. You have to wait, my doll. It hasn't started yet. Could you wait there at the reception? Thank you. There you go. It's all arranged. I'm now going to fly to Divo's casting. Oh, son, I don't know how you managed to do it. You must be very tired. Have you ever heard, he who loves does not tire or rest? Today, we're just going to take a few shots for them to choose the model who will stay and work for them. It will be quick. Oh, my son, I know that what was agreed was for you to continue with this career as a model. But frankly, you don't have to go to all castings, do you? Mom, Mofete is my investment for the future. All the money I can earn as a model, I'll be able to continue to invest there. Nazare, it's like a football players. Uh, eh? The models, they have a short career. They have to give the best a shot uh, to secure the future. Did you hear what the Italian said? All right, but you're not going like that. You'll have to take some pastries before you feel hungry. Come on, son. Uh, with regards to the future of Fete, don't worry. Eh? OK, I handed out business cards to everybody, and everybody enjoyed the food. Excellent, but now I must Wait, go. wait, 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 wait. You're taking it, son. Take it with you. But you must really eat them, Yuri. Oh, my dear, go. Mm. Have a safe trip. Ciao. Is it important, Henda? I'm busy. Important, but not urgent. I can come back when you have some spare time. Henda! Yes? I would like you to see this. What's that? It's an idea I have for a magazine. Henda, keep your piece of paper because I like people to talk to me straight. Okay, in that case, mm. my idea is for us to have every month an interview with a well-known personality, somebody the people really like. Yes. And to be photographed in the city's landmarks. Yes, yes. We give the voice to someone of interest while promoting the city at the same time. I can see. The only thing, Rosa, this is not for this edition, which is about to be closed. It's for the next issue. If there's a new one, <laughs> that is editor-in-chief. Already you're preparing the ground? I beg your pardon? I know very well you only came to speak to me because you think I'm going to be promoted to editor-in-chief, right? Don't say that, Rosa. Rosa, you're hurting me. I've always valued your opinions. Henda, you may continue to do so. It suits you very well. And now, if you'll excuse me. 
I have a casting to attend to. Yes. Poor Kiliwanj. He must be feeling like a wreck with the idea of no longer being the chief editor. Now that you have solved the problem of your sister and she's back to Mexico, you could well Please meet Please don't him. even insist, Marisa. Listen, Anna Maria. You listen. Marisa, it's like you're forgetting that Kiluanji is dating Cassia and that Cassia is the daughter of a mighty Rosa. Oh, you just saw a kiss. And you know how Cassia is. She's a sticky girl. Whatever she is or isn't, whomever she's dating or not dating, I don't care. Nye, nye, nye. Why don't I believe that? Because you're stubborn as a mule. I don't want anything to do with Kiluanji. Remember that. Everything ready for the casting? Yes. Mm -hmm. All ready. Okay, then let's start. Okay, I'm going to call the models. Beautiful house, Mr. Shavirvas. In front of me, sideways, that's it. Raise your chin slightly, that's it. Again, that's it. Okay, okay. Excellent. Next, next. Thank you. Don't bother me looking. I'm not going to stay outside. Beat it, you bitch. Listen, go play outside, please. Oh. But she's my sister. I came with her. You better leave. And you? What's your story? I came to see my nephew, Kulanji. He's waiting for me. Just a moment. I'm going to confirm. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? I have a meeting with Mr. Shavirvas. Meeting? I wasn't informed of anything. <laughs> Does it have to be? Sorry, I can't allow anyone into the house without permission. You know it, but he's not going to be happy to know that you denied me entry. So then, lady, I must let you know he's not at home. I know. He told me to wait for him. I have even sent my driver away. Well, I can wait for him here in the street. But then don't tell me I haven't warned you. Excellent. Perfect. Wonderful. Thank you. You can leave. Um, I'm sorry. Yes. And uh, now, how do I know I have been selected? We'll contact your agency. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, I thought I told you to wait outside. Hmm? I just happened to forget to tell my sister something. You can say it on your way. She's done. Uh, just one more thing. <sighs> yes? There's a little problem. I don't have an agency. Hmm, this is one of those who doesn't have an agency. Thank you. I'm very happy. The camera loves you. See you soon. OK, thank you. We can't leave right now. 
Why not? What's the matter? Is that? What's up with Daddy? Dad is outside. What? You have just heard Mr. Wilson's voice is outside. And now, what must we do? I'm sorry about the delay, but I still had to go to Kenashisha to take care of some paperwork. It's all right. The important thing is that you came. You know, I wouldn't let you get stuck. After the meeting with my father, I really needed to talk to someone. But is everything okay with you, uncle? We'll talk about me later, Kulanji. Now, tell me, what's going on? What has Javier done this time? Can I get you something to drink while you're waiting for Mr. Javier? Yes. I have some tonic water. Excuse me. Cold with lemon. Certainly. It's very simple. Tell that man I won't pay a penny more for that rubbish he's trying to sell. He either takes it or leaves it. Now stop bugging me with this nonsense. I am going home and don't want to be disturbed anymore by anyone. You're going to resign. What's the alternative, uncle? My father is surely going to remove me from the position of chief editor at Devo. But even if he's thinking of that, you shouldn't be in such a rush. What can you suggest? You should carry on doing your job the best way you possibly can. Waiting to be hanged? My dear nephew, until you know exactly what Javier is going to decide, who's going to be taking your place, stay put. You can then decide at that moment. <sighs> you may be right. It's going to be hard staying here without knowing what's going to happen. But I'll have to hold on. And now, Uncle, tell me, why didn't you attend the function at Devo? Only be here to come talk to Kiluanji. I think he's not here anymore. Go. Quickly. Hurry. Hello. Aren't you that model that did that advert about the jeans? Yes, it's me. Luigi. So you're here. You are beautiful and marvelous. That's what you wanted to say. Hey, take it easy. Hi, Nadir. How's it going? Oh. Oh, how are you, Prince of Green Eyes, Yuri Masani? Good, thank you. Now, there, I was going for the casting for the Ocean View. Am I still in time? Bankrupt? It can't be. Unfortunately, yes, it can be. Uncle, you have to find your crook partner. Philippe must have been planning this law a long time ago. He must be hiding himself like a mole. And now, what are you planning to do? I still tried to ask the bank for a loan to keep the company going, but they refuse it. I can't believe it. It's true. I'm left to look for a job like everyone else. No, no. It can't be. You're an excellent businessman. Mm -hmm. How could I let myself to be robbing that way I was? Anyway, the priority now is to raise money to pay the bills. If you want, I can speak to my father. No, no. Thank you, but no, thank Uncle. you. Uncle! No, Kulanji. I found a solution. Don't worry. Look here, you wait. What is it? Mm, I think I forgot to leave my contact number at the reception. I'm going to have to go back. You are joking, right? Aren't you? What if Daddy catches us? I won't be long. Luigi. Put it this way. I'm not going to lose an opportunity like this one. What if they select me to do the production, huh? They won't be able to contact me because I didn't leave my contact number. No, 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 Kenny. I'm not taking chances.
Excuse me, sir. 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 Listen, man. I told you I don't want to be disturbed. Uh, 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 uh. So, 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 your visitor has arrived. But what visitor? She's inside, waiting for man, you. Man, stop stuttering. You look like a walking gelatin. Who are you talking about? You haven't forgotten me, have you? Tell me, how did you find out where I live? By the way, what are you doing here? I came to surprise you. And I'm sure you're going to be very happy. Look, I'm just going to leave my contact here. All right. And another important thing, if by any chance you phone me, please request to speak to me only, just with me. Please, it's very important. Hurry up, Luigi. Hey, kids, can you tell me what you're doing here? Tell me, why are you here? What do you want from me? I have a proposal to offer you. What type of proposal? A business proposal. That's not exactly what I was waiting to hear from you. I want to open an import-export business. Really? Travel to China, to Brazil, bring clothes, and sell it in Luanda. Very well. And now do I fit into that picture? Hmm. I want you to be my investor. What do you say? That's it. That's it. You're beautiful. That's it. That's it. Next. Thanks, Yuri. Need anything else? No. We have your measurements, your contact numbers. You can go. So, can I live confidently or not so much? You're an experienced model. You must always feel confident. Jojo Remy to give me the news. You have to be at the opening, Marisa, to appreciate it. Me and Jojo with threes. Everybody enjoying my mother's good food. Ah, this catering has what it takes to be a success, Yuri. It will work, Marisa. There is a lot of people with our business cards. We just have to wait. But I'm sure Mufete catering is going to be a huge success. May the Lord listen to you. I'm fed up with all of this. Blah, 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 blah. I've already noticed you didn't go to school. But what I want to know is, why didn't you go to school? What are you kids doing here at Devo? Well, well, I have a friend that lives nearby. So, so we then took the opportunity to visit the magazine. What for? Well, 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 that, we you know... We came to see Yes, yes, that's it. But cousin is very busy. Okay, so that's what happened, Daddy. Look, we came here really to see Kiluanji. Nothing more, okay? Well, well, I'm really not convinced with that story of yours. Let me know if you hear any news Don't about Don't worry, the I'll tell you as soon as I know of something. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. So, Prince of the Green Eyes, how did the casting go? It went well, but there were so many people. Yes, let's hope they select me. Bye. bye. Good to see you, my Likewise. darling. You to participate in the casting, Luigi? Is that what you came here for? Outrightly speaking, I don't see myself doing business with you. And may I know why? Generally, I don't do business with women. Let's just say my imagination is vivid. But surely there must be something. So angry with me. What can you expect? To caress your head when you've just lied to me once. Actually, twice. Oh, Daddy, don't be so profound. I only did it to help you. Understand? To help me? After all, I know you have a few financial problems. I thought I was doing something to help you. Look, firstly, it's not your problem. Financial problems are supposed to be resolved by me. But I... Secondly, I've told you a couple of times, you're too young to be a model. I'm too young to be a model? How come? You know very well at what age Naomi Campbell started her career. You don't know, do you? She was 15. I don't care, Luigi. Dad, the scandal. And you, keep very quiet. It's the last time I want to catch you covering off your sister's lies. I get it. You want me to become a mother when I'm too old. Hmm. 
So what type of adverts am I going to do with a head cap and a walking stick? Look here, you're becoming okay, too chill. You, you haven't left. Hi, kids. Are you all right? Kill Wanji. I told you. Wait, right. Uncle. I have an idea. If you're going to insist on the idea of asking your father to lend me money, forget it. It's not worthwhile. Uncle, I know how to help you. Listen to my offer. Yeah. Winde. Huh. Winde. Hoba. Huh. Huh. Winde que também sai aquele juiz que só querem dar mais de carteira cheia. Winde. 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 Huh. Winde. Hoba. Winde. Huh. Mas como é o Winde? Winde que então quer dizer o quê? Ui, se não estás a compreender, hein? Fica só já. Winde, 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 ah, winde, ó oh, papá, ah. Winde que são aquelas boas que até vendem a irmã para ter vida boa. Winde, ah, winde, ó oh, papá, winde, ah, winde, ó oh, papá, ah. Winde que também são aqueles juiz que para ter champanhe e cumbu fazem qualquer business. Winde, ah, winde, ó papá, winde, ah. Did Kilwanji offer you a job at the magazine? Yes, he invited me to work for Devo. And you accepted it? I told him I'll think about it. To think? To think? About what, Wilson? We don't even have money to make a poor blind man sing. Ophelia, I'm really not comfortable to work for Javier's company. Do you feel comfortable with what? To remain without money? Not even for petrol, bills, to dine out? Trust me, I'm not going to let that happen. Wilson, if you continue thinking like a philosopher, that's exactly what's going to happen. Please, Ophelia. Please what, Wilson? It's a job offered to you by Kilwanji. Kilwanji? Huh. Well, he doesn't even know he was going to be working with Devo. Javier is removing him from the post of editor-in-chief. Any reason for you not to accept the offer? Or are you going to decline an offer from your favorite nephew? Cuckoo! Am I interrupting? No. Hi, Kiluanji. I know you don't want to talk about the meeting, but... To me, it's important for you to know that I'm on your side. First of all, I owe you an apology, Rosa. Mm, for goodness sake, isn't it? <laughs> I was very nervous when the meeting ended, and I was rude to you. I never thought about that. Everybody has the right to argue and explode. It's normal. Nothing personal. I know, my love. In a related matter, can I make a suggestion? Go for it. Why don't you and Cassia leave Luanda just for a few days? She told me you are both dining out tonight. You never really know. Leaving at this time? Yes. Go cool down your head and when you're back, you may find a way to turn around this situation. Hmm? I don't know, Rosa. To me, it's like abandoning sheep when it is starting to sink. Besides, I offered the job to my uncle. Did your father approve that? I'm still the chief editor of the magazine. I don't need my father's approval to hire somebody. Of course not. I'm still very much in charge of the magazine. But for that, I need to be in Luanda, okay? Marisa, this time my company will be launched into the market, right? Only you could have the idea of offering free catering in the opening of a shop. Soon everybody in Luanda will know about Mofete, huh? We won't be short of work, huh? If I was you, I wouldn't brag too much. It may reach Portugal and your wife will soon demand more money. That is for Petro. Ah, Celia is quite capable of doing that. It's been a long time since you spoke to Petro. I know things between the two of you aren't easy, but he's your son, Giorgio. Well, I'm going to go check this house. I know that the Petro affair is a difficult one for you. 
sauce is nearly ready. But I know you are said to have such, such a cold and remote relationship between the two of you. Too far, too distant. Celia is the one who decided to take him to Portugal after the separation. Is it my fault? I'm not accusing you of anything, Shoji. Celia boycotted my relationship with Pedro. She cares nothing about me, not an effort to speak to me, nothing. This matter is now closed. Don't insist, Ophelia. It's an offense to decline a job offer under the situation you're in, Wilson. But I have not yet replied to Kulanji. So then talk, give an answer. For the sake of the future of our children. For the sake of my trips to Paris, London, Brazil, Ophelia. America! I told you I'm going to think about it. Tomorrow I speak to Kulwanji. Tomorrow may be late. Until then, many tragedies may occur. And your life is full of them. Wilson, don't forget it's you who dropped us into this whole fiasco. <sighs> Call him. Call him now. Before he changes his mind about hiring you. Take it. Could you keep quiet for a second? Could you? Thank you. Wilson. Wilson. He might feel sorry for his cousins, isn't it? Poor cousins. Or might remember his... Shh. Hello, Kulanji. So, uncle, have you thought about my offer? Yes, Kulanji. I must confess you caught me by surprise. But, uh... Yes, I've decided to accept it. You want to help me? And I need a job, isn't it? Uh, mm-hmm. That's right. When can I start? Come and see me tomorrow at the magazine. We will talk calmly and then arrange for everything. Now you're going to have to forgive me. I have to hang up. I've got a dinner. Oh, okay. Is it a business dinner? Or somebody interesting? Not really. But I've agreed. After today's meeting, the least I would want is my father's company. That will be the day. That old fat Wilson walking at Devo. Hmm. It would be easier to have Giselle Bunchen on the cover of the magazine. What a waste. To burn the scandals at a dinner with boring Kiluanji. So, now that I'm about to get rid of Kiluanji, I have to bear his uncle? No, no, no. I'm going to deal with it right now. Mom, can I ask you a question? But no offense, okay? if it's an intelligent question. Are you sure you're going to be promoted to editor, mm. Chief? That's one of the issues I'm going to clarify now. Mom, but I'm not in the least bit in a mood for this dinner with Boring Kiluanji. Cassia, fix it. And I expect Kiluanji leaving this house with the official designation as your boyfriend. Do you understand? Do what you have to do. And preferably, perfect. That sauce is divine. You're being polite, hey? You know the source very well. Look, somebody's calling through the internet. But not even at dinner can I have some peace. Giorgio. Hi, Celia. I'm glad I can catch you. We have to talk about Pedro. Yes, and? I have received the job offer for the USA. What? Hey? And the problem is that I can't take Pedro along with me. Okay. I'm going to be very busy initially, and I'll be traveling a lot. But what exactly does that mean, huh? Pedro will have to stay with you in Luanda. Just to repeat that. I'm not going to live in Angola. Pedro, come talk to your father. No! Please prepare for your son in Luanda. But Celia, it seems to me he doesn't agree with it, huh? Whether he likes it or not, he's going to live with you. We will talk later. Just wanted to advise you in advance.
Mm. It looks wimpy. The lining is not in place. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 You're not bad. Is a bit big. You, yes, you're my chant prince. <laughs> Sorry about the delay. I longed for your arrival. So you want to have dinner? That was the idea, wasn't it? I don't know. I thought it could go straight to the set. What do you think? Xavier, sorry a thousand times for coming here without notice. It can only be something urgent, Rosa. I need you to sign a document. It's a request to take photographs at the French Embassy. But can't you deal with Kiliwanji tomorrow? Well, I should confess, there was one other reason for coming here. Ah, I thought so. It's for me, isn't it? You're going to offer Kiliwanji's position to me, not so? Rosa, I have the impression you are becoming a bit too anxious with the possibility of becoming the chief editor of the magazine. Javier, the magazine needs somebody who is updated with vision with leadership capacity. Someone like you? Yes, like me. Otherwise, I am afraid of what Kiluanji will do next. Why? Because Kiluanji is committing a lot of crazy things lately. Firstly, it was that disastrous function of Devo. Then, it was the hiring of your brother. What? Kiluanji must be crazy to hire my brother to work for Devo. Javier. I'm so sorry to bring up the matter. If I had known you'd get all emotional, I would not have come here. My brother is a failure, Rosa. Well, he is. But let's rather talk about the changes at Devo. Hmm? Didn't he own a company? What is his motivation for coming to work at Devo? Don't bother yourself with that now, Xavier. Oh, Rosa. Tell me, you're going to give me the post of editor-in-chief, right? Hmm? I'm going to take some measures, Rosa. I cannot let that loser work in my company to ruin my work. But listen, who are you calling? Guess who? I hope you're not calling Kiluanji because he's having dinner Rosa, with Kasia. Rosa, just stop it. Do you think I'm worried about your daughter? To our first dinner, away from all your worries, Devo, Devo's function. Kiloanji, I want to talk to you. What a serious conversation. Wait, it's my phone. You're not going to answer it, are you? What's this? Let me see who is calling. It's my father. You can talk later? What does he want? Hello? Kiloanji, what is going on? What happened? How dare you offer work to your Uncle Wilson at Devo? Stay calm, Javier. Don't be excited. Watch your blood pressure. Dad, I'm at a dinner now. This is not a matter for us to discuss on the phone. So go home right now. But listen, why don't you deal with it tomorrow, huh? When you have calmed down. Look, brother, my patience has reached its limit. You've made your point, haven't you? So now get out. But I had no idea you didn't know about Wilson. I swear. I don't have anything more to say to you, Rosa. Hmm. Are you sending me off, Xavier? Yes. And what about the editor-in-chief position? That's enough on this subject, Rosa. Haven't you noticed I've other worries to be concerned with? See you tomorrow, Rosa.
Aren't you eating some more? I'm not hungry, Marisa. My son's mother told me to put my son on a plane to Luanda, huh? She didn't even ask me for my opinion. You must try to talk things out with Celia. About what? You've heard what she said. She's going to the US and she cannot take Pedro. Just like that. Do I have anything to say here? Nothing. I know it's hard, but you have to take it easy. Who does she think she is, huh? Pedro was a child when she took him away from Angola. Now she wants to put him on a plane back to Rwanda, huh? I can understand how you're hurt, confused. Oh, I know he's my son. But, but you can't just mess with people's lives like that. It just isn't right. Remember when he used to live with us? What if you try and start talking to him? Didn't you see his reaction? He doesn't want to talk to me. Pedro is 15 years old. Put yourself in his shoes. At that age, he's naturally angry. You want to change his life upside down. It's hard to be happy like that. What about us, Marisa? Huh? You know, it's horrible to say this. After 10 years, I'm not sure I'm ready to live with him, huh? I really have to go, Cassia. Why can't you speak to your father rather tomorrow? I'll call you later and then we'll think of something. Are you gonna leave me alone here? Would a lobster ordered for us? I'm sorry, but there are some matters I can't postpone. This one with my father is one of them. Cassia is going to be so sad. It's time to show Mr. Shafir I'm fed up. I can't stand being treated like an inconsequent teenager anymore. Do you understand? We'll talk later. Hmm. You little boring man. Thank you, old lady of Mozima. Thank you very much. Tell me, how do you want me to treat you, Kiliwangi? Treat me like an adult, honest, responsible, and hardworking. But you are not like that, Kiliwangi. You go through life shooting yourself in the foot. Mistake after mistake. First the default function fiasco, now hiring your Uncle Wilson. But I do trust him. Your uncle is an asshole. I'm still the chief editor of the magazine, like it or not. Chef, you never questioned my hirings. Don't do it this time. But just tell me the reason for hiring your uncle. Go ask him yourself. But I'm asking you. Is it so hard for you to call him? Maybe you have forgotten how to talk to him, isn't it? My relationship with my brother is my own. And I've, uh, your own business. I know. Since Mama's gone, it has always been like that. What do you mean with that? You've been aloof from everything. And all from me. From Luena. Luena is not worth mentioning. Stop wondering. Have you ever wondered why she went to study in London and never came back? Uh, Luena is living her life. Luena is just another example. An example of how you treat your family. Enough, Kiliwanji! To you. Hello, Mom. So how are things on your side? Well, the reason I'm calling is about Her Excellency, Madame Victoria. Listen, Mom. Uh, hold on, Mom. Someone is ringing at the door. Hi. Please don't tell me I forgot to give you a lift to the magazine. You can't imagine what happened. Hello, Mom. I have to leave. We'll talk later. Lots of love. Bye. What's wrong, my friend? It's Pedro, Giorgio's son. Something happened to him. His mother wants him to leave with us. You heard me, Yuri. Celia is sending Pedro to come live with me. But so suddenly. You know that Celia has always done what she wants. When she wants, how she wants. That's why we've never agreed with each other. What about Pedro? How did he react? I think he rather wants to run away to Siberia than to live in Luanda. But what if he really comes? How are you going to cope? Teenagers are expensive. It's a difficult age. Yeah, I know, Yuri. The one thing I'm really sure of, this catering company has to succeed. And it's not for the money. It's rather for my own mental health. 
Why are you saying that? Because of Marisa. Can you imagine what it's like to have Pedro live with us? But what about her? How did she react? <sighs> so and so. I saw George was so worried. I only tried to calm him down. You will have to tell him how you feel about it. Firstly, I have to understand. It was all a show for me, Ana Maria. I can't imagine, my friend. But you must have done nothing but think about the matter. What is your conclusion? At this moment, to be honest, I don't even know if I want Pedro to come live with us. Oh, my friend, I understand. Obviously, I want Georgia to be on good terms with his son. I often insist that they call and talk to each other. But when I think of the kid living with us, I'm scared. Do you understand how I feel? I don't think I can do it. I understand. Having a teenager at home is no joke. Especially when he struggles to get along with his father. The idea itself causes me some confusion. Let's be honest, when I met Joshua, both his wife and son had already left Luanda. Yes, you are living with a man who had a child, who was living far away. And every time he visited us, he was so unhappy. He made our lives difficult. I even pretended to ignore the kids' tantrums, their bad relationship, the state at which Joshua ended up. I see. You don't want it to carry on any longer than it has to. Especially when Pedro is refusing to come to live here. My dear, that shirt is giving you an important look. <laughs> ah, oh yes. And I asked Celia to iron your favorite suit. It wasn't necessary. It is. You can't pitch up at work on your first day looking like an ordinary office clerk. Look at the picture of these girls in the magazine. They're practically naked. Oh, the horror. I don't even know what Kulange is employing me for. I have no idea. The position must be important. If I was the mother of one of these skinny girls, I would die of shame. My God! And remember, you're the favorite uncle of Kilwanji. Hmm, only uncle. He'll probably place me in a department that is badly managed, where he needs someone trusted by him. Hmm, you're practically like a father to Kilwanji. So that would mean you get a corner office, with a desk that is enormous. But don't even think of looking at one of these skinny girls who run around the magazine half naked. Be mm. patient, Ophelia. Hmm. To Luigi. Has she left for school? Not yet. She's just finishing preparing. I'm even scared to have breakfast. Hmm. You go without eating, at least you won't become fat. It's your fault. All because of that casting rubbish you attended will be punished. Don't worry, my little brother. I you shouldn't worry. by daddy, it will all go well. Don't worry. It will all go well until mom knows about it. Hmm. We were lucky that daddy has other matters to talk to mom about when she arrives home. Kate, we have to talk about what happened yesterday. Daddy. Before you start, I want to apologize once again for what happened yesterday, before you get too upset. But you know I always wanted to become a model. Ha. You think you can do it in a hidden way? Not really, but have you imagined how much I can earn? I can help you and mom with your financial problems as well. I already told you that the financial problem of our family are struggling my business. There's no place for a lie. You missed school, and on top of it, you took your brother along. You didn't tell mom, did you? Not yet. Please, dad, don't tell mom anything. You know how much she hates the idea of me becoming a model, don't you? She only lets me wear a mini skirt when she's in a good mood. <sighs> Please, daddy, if mom finds out about it, she's going to take the TV, games, sound equipment, and Please, CDs away daddy, from us. Just leave it between us. It will be our secret, okay? What do you think? Thanks. It was a tragic night. That's what it was. Mommy, please don't be so dramatic. <sighs> Shafir didn't assure me that I would assume the management of Devo. Your dinner with Kiluanji was nothing more than an appetizer. Thank God. 
Honestly, I've even enjoyed it. Mom, Kilimanjaro is as exciting as a snail's race. After 10 minutes, it was already yawning. Cassia, but this can't remain like that. You better start thinking about your next move. He said he would call me, Mom. Now I just have to wait. Wait. It's one word. It's one word that doesn't exist in my dictionary. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Mom. The word is now to think. Think of how you are going to keep the Kiluanji situation alive. You have to go for it, Cassia. Okay, Mom. Okay. I promise I will work out something to make you happy, okay? I just hope the visit to Xavier's house served some purpose and that useless Wilson will not be working at the magazine. It may not all have been lost. Aren't you having breakfast? I'm not really hungry. Sulking is not the characteristic of a real man. When people feel hurt, they stay away from those who hurt them. If your problem is your Uncle Wilson, you can relax. He can stay at Devo. Really? But on one condition. Why am I not surprised with that? I decide what he's going to do. <sighs> Farewell. And what is going to be my uncle's position? Stock manager? It's a position from my father. But what does this mean? In practice, what must I do? Above all, to organize. To organize what? Everything. That is, essentially all the office stationery. Also to take care of some of the props in the fashion shows. Let's be frank. What your father wants is to send me to the warehouse. Between rims, papers, boxes. Isn't that right? I don't know what to say, uncle. I'm trying to help you. Ugh. But there's little else I can do. I have my days numbered here. I'm not even thinking of demanding anything from you, Kilowanji. But stock manager. I know that's a horrible thing to say. But with the financial problems you face, I think it's better than nothing. <sighs> I know. So what's our deal? Sorry to push you, uncle. I need an answer from you to talk to the financial manager, Artur. He's the one who deals with the contracts, salaries, all those things. So, what's our deal? Good morning, Nadia. Good morning, Mr. Artur. Any message or mail for me? I'll go and check right now. So, and your sister Victoria? Any news from her? When you reached my house, I was talking to my mother. Is everything okay in Mexico? I ended hanging up without finding out. I'll have to call her tonight. Good morning. Who's this young lady? A new model? No, no. Some family matters. Do you know where's Hinder? I have the photographs for the report on the jewelers that I need to give to him. I have no idea. I didn't even see him this morning. Don't tell that Don Juan, the second class, didn't sleep at home. He must have met some rich woman and got involved with her. You know what happens. And uh, he can smell Kwanzaa's miles away. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh. Hey. Where are you? Princess? Oh, my darling. Are you there in the bathroom, love? Until next time. Oh, this beach has left. Oh, I'm late. I'm gonna have to hurry now. Excuse me. Yes. I need a contact number of a florist here in Rwanda. Yes, madam. I want to send flowers to someone very special. Just a moment, sir. Me? Yes, you, sir. I'm sorry. You must pay for the room. 
What? The lady that stayed with you has left and told us you would pay the bill. Oh dear, now I'm in trouble. I'll kill that Priyanya, I swear. Excuse me, but I was here before he came in. Yes, madam. Wait a minute. I know you. You must be mistaken. Please give me the florist's contact details. Certainly. He will soon pay his bill. I can remember you. I never forget a beautiful face. You are Anna Maria's sister, aren't you? This could be the one. No. Forget it. Looks more like a serial flower model. What about this one? Horrible. This magazine is not for the blind. Oh no, Yuri wouldn't. But the public loves him. His face is more than overused. Hmm, this one looks good. He has at least some energy, some virility. Yes, it can be him. So then, let's turn to the woman. No. No. Forget it. Old. Finished. Mm. Open that one down there. I know. No elegance. <sighs> and who's this one? Ah, this is that young girl that came with her brother. She doesn't have a composite, but it's a new face. It could work, but it may probably be too risky. She has no experience. Mm, it's better not. Rosa, if you think she might be interesting, why don't you give her a chance? I have some doubts about her. She was supposed to leave her contact details. Why not try her, even if we have to take some more shots before the production? Let's see. Nadir, did one of the girls in yesterday's casting leave her contact with you? Yes, that's the one. The one with the irritating brother. This time we are true. I told you that we were going to convince dad. He'll not tell mom. Now let's see if you are going to forget the idea of becoming a model. Because this is going to get us in trouble. Look at him. This kid is not yet growing a mustache. And he wants to rule my life. Really? How will Lukeni grow up? I just don't want to be punished because of you. And if mommy dreams that you have been involved in castings, she will kill you and me. Do you know what your position will be now? What is expected from you? Any more questions, uncle? Well, I'd like to know how much I'm gonna earn. Artul, please, if you don't mind. Here's our proposal. Is this some kind of joke? Huh? Mrs. Russell, here's the number you asked for. Thank you. No. Well, let's talk to Miss Luigi. It must be our first work. She's going to be hysterical. Hello? Is that Luigi's house? Yes. Yes, but she's not in. Who is it, Sila? It's a lady. She wants to speak to Luigi. Ah, give me that. Hello? This is Luigi's mother speaking. It's from the Devo magazine. From the Devo magazine? But who's talking? Actually, do you know who you're speaking to? With Ophelia Voss. Oh, yes. Ophelia. This is Rosa Bettencourt. It's just to let you know that your daughter was selected for a casting. And she's going to do a fashion production this month. Casting? A fashion production? What are you talking about? Listen, 
I know you are Anna Maria's colleague at Women Dubai. are really crooks, man. No offense, okay? But how am I going to pay the room now? My sister should never know you saw me here. Do you understand me? It's funny. I heard her saying you returned to your homeland. What are you doing here? What if you just stop playing smart guy and listen to my offer? Shoot, my friend. I'm listening. I will solve your problem and you'll not cost me another. Say that again in other words. I will pay your bill. If? In return, you would not tell Anna Maria you saw me here. Okay, okay, I get it. You pay my bill in return for me keeping my mouth shut, right? It may be the start of a wonderful friendship. So what do you think? Yes, I understood everything. But for your information, Luigi is not doing any fashion production, neither this month nor the next millennium. Is it? Well, then you know what, next time, just don't let her go to a casting. You ignorant. Wasting my time. What's wrong? Her daughter slipped into a casting and without the permission of her parents. No way she's going. But what was she thinking? That they wouldn't ever find out? But you don't want to know the worst. She is Javier's niece. Okay. <laughs> She's the daughter of that Christmas tree Ophelia and that boring Wilson Voss. How did I not recognize her? This amount is ridiculous, Kulwanji. You're forcing me to review your offer. I'm not allowed to go beyond that amount. I know it's not a fortune, Uncle, but I'm trying to help you as best as I can. And the offer was discussed with Mr. Xavier. He gave me direct instructions not to exceed that amount. <sighs> I can understand you want to think about it, but without pressing you too much, there's something I need to ask you. Say it. I need a reply by today, by the end of today. Sila? Sila? Sila! Sila! Yes, Mrs. Ophelia, I'm here. Why don't you listen when I call you, you lazy slug? Call Abraham for me now. But are you leaving? No, I'm going to have tea with Abraham. Of course I'm leaving, what do you think? I'm sorry, it's just that I thought that I think. I don't pay you to think, Celia. Go do your work. Call Abraham because I'm leaving. I need to go fetch my kids from school. Yes, madam. Please get the door. Good afternoon, Mr. Javier. How are you? Javier. What an unexpected surprise. Do tell, what brings you to these parts? Uh, it's my favorite sister-in-law. Well, very well. Uh, if you've come to speak to your brother, Wilson is not here. What if I came to speak to you? With me? Yes, I have something serious to talk about. With regard to the hotel bill of this gentleman, charge it to my account. Yes, madam. And don't worry, I'm not absconding. Hmm. As soon as I get my new documents, I'll settle everything. Here is the flourish contact as you requested. Thank you. I don't know how to thank you, friend. By keeping your mouth closed. Just don't tell Anna Maria that you saw me here. Don't worry, I'll be like a mommy. But if you need any help, just shout, okay? I like to reward my friends. Actually, there is something else you can do for me. Now? Tell me what is it then. You're working at TV, and there is somebody there that interests me very much. Who? Kilowanji. The boss? You're bored, hey? Tell me what you want. Preferably everything. Who he dines with, sleeps with, who he dates. Wait a moment. Were those flowers for him? Can I count on you or not? I told you you can count on me, but if I am to be an informer, then I must be rewarded. Don't you think so? And you'll be, if you do a good job. My dear friend, I'm a journalist. I like concrete answers. Then understand one thing. 
I am going to improve my life. It's just a matter of time. And whoever is on my side will be rewarded. Mm. Do you understand? Ophelia, tell me exactly what happened to Wilson's company. Xavier, are you sure you don't want to have a drink? I have told you no. Now, please don't try to change the subject. Sorry, I was just trying to be polite. If Kiliwanji offered a job to Wilson, it's because Wilson needed a job. And if a businessman needs a job, it is because his business has been liquidated. If you have all the answers, why did you bother to come here asking questions? I know you very well, Ophelia. <laughs> Now I'm confused. It's obvious you're on the verge of bankruptcy. Sooner or later. But let me be very clear. And listen carefully. I will not give you one more quanza. Xavier. Did you come all the way here to tell me that? <laughs> you know so ah, wind there. Oh, papa. Wind there. Ah, wind there. Oh, papa. Ah. Ah. Winde que também são aqueles juiz que só querem dar mais de carteira cheia. Winde, 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 ah, Winde, oh papá, Winde, ah. Mas como é o Wii? Winde que então quer dizer o quê? Wii, se não estás a compreender, não fica só já. Winde, 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 ah, Winde, oh papá, ah. Winde que são aquelas boas. Que até vende a irmã para ter vida boa. Winde, ah, Winde, oh papá, Winde, ah, Winde, oh papá, ah. Winde que também são aquele juiz que para ter champanhe e cumbu fazem qualquer business. Winde, ah, Winde, oh papá, 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 ah. Hello, I would like to send some flowers to Divo. Yes, ma'am. To what address? Kiluanji Voss. V O S S. I'll tell you what to print in the card, okay? Thank you. Hello, Cassia. I just wanted to know if you thought of a plan to make up for that disgraceful dinner yesterday with Kiluanji. What? Oh, yes, yes, sure, sure, mom. Yes, I'm dealing with it. I've just finished dressing. Yes, I will tell you later. But don't worry, mom. I'll deal with Clue Angie. <laughs> Oh, my dear, you know me well. I don't like little chats with neighbors. But, Mom, why we don't have any others? You could take a rest for a little while. Eh, pass me the flower, please. Son, I am old enough, so cooking for me is the real rest that I need. Why don't you go to the movies to watch something? At least you could keep your mind busy. What I need is to keep my hands busy, son. Guess what? I'm cooking now. Chips need to be frozen. <laughs> and then we just have to wait for God to give us a job. Mm, I'm still confident, Mama. I'm sure you'll hear the phone ringing soon. May God hear you. <clears throat> By the way, what's the matter with Georgia? Why are you asking me that? You should have seen his face this morning when he came in. He looked very worried. Mufete Catering, good morning. Yes, yes, it was us who supplied the food for the shop launch, yes. Would you like to hire our services? I would be very happy, yes, sure. It would be a pleasure. Mm, can you tell me more about this event? A big lavish wedding. Exactly! That's great. I told you, Mom. <laughs> but how did we get to Jojo? It was a client from the shop launch. Ah, he found your food marvelous, delicious, Nazari. We have to provide the perfect service. Think carefully about the menus. 
meal presentation, and service. Uh, it's only one problem. Mm, time. Outcome. Giorgio, to the best of my knowledge, weddings are prepared well in advance. Uh, but it seems that the groom has had a problem with the catering at the last minute. Oh, 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 Giorgio. And so what? But tell me, when is the wedding? Uh, the day after tomorrow? And they say work is a good distraction. I can't stop thinking about this matter of Pedro. I can't imagine. This idea of Jojo's son coming to live with us is driving me crazy. To be honest, I really don't envy you. Oh, thanks. Any advice? Can you give me some? I've already given you the best advice. You have to talk to Giorgio. He needs to know what you think about it. I mean, come on. Wouldn't you want him to tell you the same if the roles were switched? Yeah, right. I'm not going to stay here complaining, waiting for him to read my thoughts. And what are you going to do? I'm going to see him. Everything's going to be all right, hmm? Don't worry. Morning. Morning, dear princess. Bye. Good morning or afternoon? I couldn't come earlier. You know how it goes, friend. I had one of those unexpected encounters. Mm. I can imagine. Now, let me take a guess. A woman that is rich... And you can keep trying, my dear Anna Maria. You will never find out. Surely not. There are so many options, aren't there? Okay, okay. Let's do some work, okay? No, don't sit down yet. Go to Kilwanji's office. He's in a meeting with Rosa, and they've been asking for you, Henda. <sighs> and so, your Uncle Wilson, any news about his joining the magazine? Just as well you're mentioning it, Rosa. Is there a problem? Did you by any chance have a discussion with my father about my invitation to my uncle to work here? Me? I don't know how he knew about it. Not that it's important. Ish. But I was surprised to find out that he knew. I don't know. But what did he say? He accepted the job offer. I see. We have already made a real offer to my uncle. So now we have to wait. Yes. Did you want to speak to me? Come in, Henda. We have an article for you. OK, shoot. Gadgets, technology. We want to know all about the latest in the market next year. Do you want to take a note? Wilson! Will you hurry up, Wilson? You're not going to start shooting me with questions, are you? My dear husband, tell me everything. How was your first day at the magazine? Were you with Kiluanji? Have you started working? Can't I breathe? No, 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 dear. Tell me everything first. Then you can breathe. Honestly, I didn't like the offer. I don't think I'm going to take it. What? No. You have to accept it. It's my decision, Ophelia. No. Your brother was here to visit me, and he... Javier was here in the house? He was very clear. He said that either you accept that job at default, or you can forget about him because he's not lending you a Kwanzaa. It's impossible, Jojo. No one in the world would ever prepare a wedding reception in two days. I'm sorry. So what is it exactly you want to do, Nazare? Jojo, you don't understand. You need starters, main courses, desserts, and the wedding cake. Who's going to bake it? Hmm. Yeah, but you're not going to give up. Let's take it easy. We cannot refuse this work. But son, I'm not going to make it. I only have two hands and everything will go wrong. What do you want me to do? To mix cream with the results and prawns into the cheesecake? No, no. No, 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 no. If it is possible that we can cause any harm, it is better that we don't do it, huh? Let's look at it this way. Are they paying well? Eh, uh, what we asked for, and if I'm to be honest, it was a good price, eh? Huh? So let's do it. Me, Jojo, and Musanji will help you in the kitchen, and we'll hire another person. Oh, son, who are we going to hire? I don't see who. We can ask Daddy. Maybe he knows somebody. Yes, he might. If there's anyone who knows half the people in the world, it is my dear son, Sal. Hey, Paulo. Ah, you can't imagine the scandal, man. There is Sina kicking a drunk husband out on the street. No, it can't be. I had to run out and see. Ah, there is Sina shouting. Ooh, her husband wobbling. What a disgrace, man. I ah. can see it. Yes, old man. 
Those people, come on, let's go, yeah. Coconut, coconut. Hello, Nazare, the love of my life. Sansao, we have an order here that's bigger than Kuando Kubango. Yes, we'll have to hire someone. Listen, you know half the world, Sansao. Who can help us? Is this your way of saying that I'm losing to everybody's business? Well, I know Elizabeth was looking for a job for her son. Elizabeth? Our next door neighbor? So you're talking about Jaye? Sansao, that guy doesn't even know how to peel potatoes. Oh, Nazare, you did ask for an opinion, didn't you? So there you have it. Bye-bye, I have to walk now. Bye-bye. What's up, old man? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Look, I don't know, but I doubt Elizabeth's son could help us in any way. But Mama, he's been living alone with his mother for a long time. Maybe there's something he can do in the kitchen. Hmm? Yes, and uh, we need some help. Even if it is to load some boxes. Uh. I'll speak to him. No harm in asking. To be sent to the printing company urgently. Don't worry, Anna-Marie. Good afternoon. Uh, love is in the air. Can you sign here, please? Uh, and who are the flowers for? For Mr. Kulianjivos. Did you take the notes of everything? Yes, yes. Don't worry. You're going to have the best article of the year on tech gadgets. Flowers for me, Nadir? Not really. They're for Mr. Kilowangi. For me? Who sent them? Look at the card. From your greatest admirer. Just that? Only that it's not signed. But it's not hard to find out, is it? My Cassia never ceases to surprise me. Javier's an arrogant man. Who does he think is to come here and give an ultimatum? He's the only person capable of preventing us from falling into the misery you're taking us to. Or have you forgotten that your brother is still a millionaire? I don't want to talk about this matter. I'm fed up with Javier. So let it be. So let's then talk about Luigi. What's wrong with Luigi? What's wrong with Luigi? I was going to fetch her at school, but with all this confusion with Javier, did you know that your daughter was lying to us? What are you talking about? In fact, <gasps> that can only come from the stars. Because, because all of a sudden, the entire world is falling onto my head. This is a conspiracy from heaven against me. Aha! You came at the right time, Miss Luigi. But what's going on? Dear husband, did you know our daughter is attending castings behind our backs? Wilson. Yes, I did. What? I know that Luigi wants to do a casting at Devo. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that all of you knew about this? Except me? Were we caught? Okay. 50 kilograms of sugar. 50? 50 kilos of sugar? Fine sugar for a wedding. But, Giorgio, do you have any idea of the amount of desserts we have to prepare? What about icing the cake? Okay, I'm sorry. I just was checking if I heard it right. Huh? Yes, you heard right. We have a lot of shopping to do, Giorgio. Mamma mia. Mom, Jair will be here soon for the interview. Look, it's another one. I still have my doubts whether that kid can still help us here at the kitchen. Well, we'll see. Look, it must be him. Hi. Hi. My love. Hello, Marisa. I need to talk to you, Joshua. What's the matter? Something wrong? If it wasn't important, I wouldn't be here. Jamo, let's go. Marisa, this event has fallen from heaven, huh? You have no idea how big this order is. 
Uh, I can only imagine. Nazari was so discouraged. I fear the worst. Now we have to hire people to cope with the job. Isn't that just our luck? You're really excited. Yes, I am. Very much so. So excited I didn't even let you speak. Now tell me, what's going on? Uh, uh, just that, uh... Yes? I saw you were a little bit down because of Petro. Marisa, not now, okay? Huh? I don't feel like talking about my Pedro, okay? Sure, sure, that's why. I thought that we could perhaps spend the weekend at... at Caboledo. Yes, see. It's a very good idea. But now with the wedding function, I can see it won't work. No, it's not, Marisa. But I promise, I will reward you, huh? I love you, baby. Hmm? You won't be angry with me, will you? Huh? Mm. Mom, what's happened? Shh. I have a headache the size of the universe. Indeed, you look terrible. I had to leave Devo. I couldn't bear the bad news anymore. But what's really happened? <sighs> For a start, Lazy Bones Wilson Voss is going to work at Devo. Javier didn't even pitch up. And I remain without knowing if I'm going to be editor-in-chief. Gee, that's really bad humor. Keep away before it strikes me. What saved my day, my daughter, was that brilliant idea of yours. Hmm. What, Mom? I'm so proud of you, Cassia. It's rare, but it happens. But what idea, Mom? What are you talking about? The flowers you sent to Kilwanji. He loved it. Flowers? I didn't send him any flowers. What? It wasn't you that sent the... Who was it then, Cassia? Message from him. Kiluwanji loves flowers. Good. Hello, Shavir. I have some news about the business. Mm hmm. You can drop the check for the first. Just set up a meeting and then you can explain everything. We can do it tonight. Anna Maria, I never thought you had such a quick and efficient sister. Excuse me? I don't understand. Tonight I am having a business dinner with your sister Victoria. She is a determined woman. Sorry, I don't think I heard you properly. Mr. Xavier and my sister having dinner together. She made me a business proposition. I thought it was rather interesting, I must say. Really? She didn't tell you? Victoria and I haven't been in contact with each other recently. She'll probably tell you about it later. There are some details we still need to look at. Sure, sure. Does that mean you have been meeting with her? She called me and made me an offer. Let's see how it goes from there. I am thinking of taking her to dinner at the Marisia. Ah, that new restaurant on the island. Yes, that one. I think she will enjoy it. I'm sure she will. Well, I'm going to meet Kilewanji. Later. The idea of sending flowers to Kilewanji was of a genius. How come you didn't think of doing that, Cassia? You also didn't have such idea, did you? But you still keep blaming me, right? My problem is not your incompetence. 
is the fact that we were fooled. I know nothing else worries you, ha. am I right? As if it wasn't enough teaching you to fight for a man, Cassia. Hmm? The worst is not knowing who your adversary is. <laughs> but mom, Kiluanji is more boring than a mother-in-law. You can be the fool interested in him, huh? Someone with objectives like ours. I can't say what could possibly be. Me neither, but it's time to start investigating. I can't see how also. Even great criminals leave their tracks. You have to sign this one too, from the printer. These men aren't doing a bad job. I called Luena today. Mm-hmm. She didn't answer. It's not normal. Mm-hmm. Her birthday will be very soon. I want to know if she'll be here this year. This year, Luena will be here earlier. Really? How do you know that? Because I've been talking to her in London. Serious? And is there any reason for not letting me know? Why? Should there be any? I don't know. You don't usually call Luena. Hey, and I find it strange you didn't tell me about Can it. Can we talk about Divo? That's why we are here, isn't it? By the way, how is the hiring of your Uncle Wilson going, for example? We've made a final offer. I'm waiting for a response by the end of the day. Don't worry, my little boy. A mediocre man like your Uncle Wilson can't refuse our offer. Can I say something? No. My God, Wilson. Wilson, what are you doing? So, first you let your partner cheat you, then you cover up for the lies of your children. Wilson, I've already reprimanded Luigi for being secretly at the divorce casting. <laughs> Wilson, since when do the children listen to you? <laughs> since when are you reprimanding them? Luigi promised never to lie to us again. That she would not go to casting without first consulting us. And you close the matter? That is behind my back? And on top of it without telling to me? To save you the trouble, Ophelia. You already have enough stress. You want to save me? It's quite simple. Swallow your pride, forget your stupid quarrels with your brother, Xavier, and accept the job at Devo, Wilson. A store manager? For that salary? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Have you got an alternative? Can't you see how humiliating this is to me? Wilson, what do you prefer? To eat humble pie? Or to be thrown into misery forever? I love the flowers sent to Kiluanji, and I'd like to send a bouquet to my friend that is in the clinic. Poor girl. Can you give me the address of who sent the flowers? I don't know, I don't know. Let me check the slip left by the delivery man. Ah, you're lucky, Mrs. Rosa. Here's the address and the phone number. Yes. The florist is Linda Flor. Thank you, Nadir. Here is your immediate destiny. But do you want me to go to the florist now? Immediately. And dare not leave that place without finding out who is sending flowers to Kiluanji. Uh-huh. My future son-in-law. How could you not ring me, Mama? How can I only discover now that Victoria didn't go to Moshiko? Ah, <sighs> don't worry. Look, I don't know where exactly she's staying in Luanda, but I know how to find her. Okay, Mama, okay. Love, kisses. You won't believe this. What is it? First surprise. Victoria is still in Luanda. Then the madness. She proposed some business deal to Javier. Did you hear what I said? Victoria phoned her mother to say I changed my mind and told her to stay here in Luanda. Oh, Anna Maria. I couldn't. I couldn't. What? You couldn't do what? I didn't have the courage to talk to Jojo about his son. Ah, <sighs> which of course means that... Shoujo doesn't know that I don't want his son to live with us. is also going to help us. She'll be here as soon as she finishes her work. Hmm. God bless her, Jojo. 
We welcome any help to get ready for this big wedding. Uh, Nazare, you're incredible. Eh? You just done another drive of kids, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Madam Nazare is like a cooking machine. You don't understand. Everything you do now is to save time. These are salties, for example. They just have to be fried. Masonji, come here, please. Yes, Take the tray, please, and go place it carefully in that fridge, okay? I am going to tackle the chicken next because they still have to marinate. You know how all this works. Yuri, wasn't your neighbor Sanjay supposed to come here? It's strange, really. When I spoke to him on the phone, he said he'll be coming. Hope nothing bad happened to him, because we can't afford to have troubles today, Yuri. Hello. Jaire! What happened to you? I'm sorry about the delay. Goodness gracious, were you robbed? No, no, there was some trouble in the township. But what kind of trouble leaves you in this kind of state? Uh, there were these guys trying to beat my friend up when I tried to help him. But are you in a condition to work? Y yes, I can start right away. So, let's go. Send me a driver and all that. That cheeky Mr. Shabibos. have to be quick. What I have to say is quick. It's not hard to guess. For you to come all the way here, you must be thinking about my offer. Mm -mm. It's going well, female detective. Don't tell me you already know my reply. You're going to help me know everything about Kiriwanji and Divo. Am I right? Hmm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, miss. Oh, <laughs> what beautiful flowers. Now I see why they spoke so highly about this place. Thank you. And they also told me you're very kind. Hmm. I'm going to need your help. Really, really need your help. If I can be of assistance, miss. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. I couldn't find out who the villain was that sent the flowers to Kiluanji. <laughs> the description of the florist was so vague it could even be Rihanna. <laughs> oh, Mama, take it easy. I'm not going to leave you empty handed. I found out she's staying at HCPA Hotel. Excellent. From now on, you will inform me about everything that is happening at Divo and in Kilowanji's life. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, miss. It's not that simple. I'm not an NGO. Nor do I have the vocation to feed the poor. Don't worry. You will be rewarded. But I will decide how. <laughs> really? Yes. I want a share of your business with Javier. I can see my partner is very clever. How do you know I have some business Victoria, with... Victoria, let's leave the details for later. I'm a journalist. A competent one. I have my sources. And what if I don't want to share? It's simple. You lose a partner, a useful and clever one like me. Clever, but hungry for money. Yes, indeed. I admit I'm one of those that feels ambition is a quality, not a fault. And that can be very convenient for you. Do we have a deal or not? Yes, we have. 
but I don't have details. It's okay with me, anytime you wish. I have to go. If I arrive late to my first dinner with Shavirvas, no business, no deal. Look at us, mom. Like two crazy persons looking for a mystery woman. It eh? would help if instead of complaining, you start thinking, Cassie. Mom, why don't you let me give up trying to win Kilo Angie's love? Eh? We have to find out who the cheeky person was that sent the flowers to Kilwanji. Yeah, and how are we going to do it? All we know is that she's staying at this hotel. How many other women are also staying here, eh? <laughs> at this stage of my life, you doubting my skills, Cassia, is an insult to me. I can explain. You have a lady staying here at this hotel, and let me tell you, a beautiful, fantastic, and marvelous hotel. Okay. This hotel is a must. Uh, so she sent flowers to a friend of mine, and I'd like to, to find out where she got those flowers. Who wants to know who she is, where she is, and what she is doing? Cassia. What's the matter, Mom? I can't believe it. Where's she? Anna Maria's sister, Cassia. Which Anna Maria? Anna Maria, Divo's photographer. I just can't believe this shabby woman is after Kiluanji. Come, quick, move before she sees us. Please. Yes? Mr. Shevius' driver is coming to fetch me for dinner. I'll be at the bar for a drink. Can you tell him? Certainly. Thank you. I'm going to see Giorgio at Moffet. But is he still working there at this time? He's going to work overnight. They are very busy with the wedding function order. I said I will help out. You wanna come? No, I can't, Marisa. I don't feel like going there alone. This issue with Jojo and not yet talking to him about Pedro is making me anxious. Which will only go away as soon as you open your mouth and tell him what you feel inside here. I know, Ana Maria. You know I'd love to help you guys. But I have to resolve this issue with Victoria. You're right about that sister of yours. She just gives you problems. She stayed in Luanda, lied to your mother, and didn't tell you. That's right. If she thinks that she's the only one full of surprises around here, she's completely wrong. Useless, incompetent, not even capable of giving information. Oh, Mom, how could you possibly expect him to tell you the sister of the photographer is sending flowers to Kilwanji? Oh. I'm pretty sure it was her, Cassia. Or are you going to tell me it's a big coincidence about her staying here at this hotel? Hmm? But what is Anna Maria's sister doing with one of Javier's drivers? Oh, Mom. Are they having an affair? Ay, Cassia, I swear to you, I sometimes have doubt about you being my daughter. Leave me. That miserable bitch went to meet Javier. It has to be. He must have sent one of the drivers to fetch her. With Xavier? But why? I'm going to talk to that woman. Stay right here. Keep quiet. Otherwise, we're going to spoil it all. Calm down. Rosa baila como serpente, escreve no chão a palavra rumba. Rosa sente o balanço cadenciado e o tocar da tumba. Há quem diga que Rosa baila também é porque ela fez uma pumba. Rosa baila e faz inveja muita quilumba. Rosa baila. Rosa baila. Have you seen Jairo's face? Hmm. He was badly beaten. I didn't believe that story about him getting into some trouble in the township. 
He's too peaceful, quieter than a mosquito. Huh? Mama, it might have been a mishap. It can happen to anyone. Well, I don't know. Where's Sansan? He's supposed to bring the chili spice. You don't understand. If I'd gone home on foot, I would have been back by now. But aren't you the neighbor of Nazir and Sansao, huh? Yes. And you live alone with your mama? Yes. It can't be easy, can it, huh? My mother is my best friend. I have to thank God that she puts a roof over my head. Elizabeth, come me. Hello, Senso. Ah, so my neighbor who never comes out to be seen. I just came here to thank you for hiring my son, Jair, for your catering business. Thank you very much, neighbor. Ah, my dear neighbor, don't thank me. Thank Yori, Giorgio, and Nazare. It's a business. They had me too. I just recommended him to them. Ah, at last it's time he starts contributing. It's difficult, isn't it? I'm tired of carrying everything on my shoulders. This costs life. No, my dear neighbor. Forgive me for being impolite. But I'm in a hurry, really. I have to take the chili spice to my fete for Nazare. Can you give a message to Nazare? Of course. Hush, must put Jared to work. It will only do him good. He won't be short of work today and tomorrow. Rest assured, neighbor. To prepare a wedding function is just two days. It's really crazy. Don't let that child be idle. He is very lazy. It's time for him to realize how hard life is. Well, uh, thank you very much. See you later. I don't understand, Luen. You don't answer my calls. You don't return my calls. What's going on? But Daddy told me he's been talking to you. What are those conversations about, Luena? Okay, okay. Go, we'll talk later then. Were you there? I didn't want to bother you. What were you talking to your sister about? Is she all right? Yes, she is. I'm not entirely sure, but I got the impression she's hiding something. You have always been paranoid. Maybe it has something to do with the conversations you both are having behind my back. Maybe you're going to have to wait until she arrives in Luanda. Oh. So there indeed is something. I have a dinner tonight. Okay, I see it doesn't suit you to talk. For your information, Wilson sent me a message just a while ago. Mm-hmm. He's starting to work tomorrow at Devo. I told you he would accept. Now I have to go, I'm already late. Every action has a reaction. From now on and for a week, Miss Luigi will be without internet and TV. What? Without birth? All of this just because of a miserable casting mummy? Luigi. The first punishment is to teach you not to lie. And the second one is for you never to forget telling the truth. But, Mom... Don't even add another syllable, or I'll double your punishment. As to you, Lukeni. No, Mom. Don't be cruel. This time, you're off the hook. But next time, you'll be without listening to Kudoro. No, don't do that, Mom. Please. I promise I'll be here from now onwards. Hmm. I swear. I could have my head filled with so much boom, boom, boom. Horrible. Wilson, don't just sit there and show us your bum face. Can we leave the species for another time? Kids, Daddy has something to tell you. Wilson, did you tell your children that as from tomorrow you'll be working at Devo? Are you going to work at Devo, Dad? To do what? You and Ophelia. Why don't you tell your children what's going to be my dream work? Oh. There are worse jobs. Fast food taster, armpit smellers in a deodorant factory, domestic worker. And by the way, have you thought about what you're going to tell your friends about what I'm doing? 
going to tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. That I'm starting to get for paints and starting to get for paper rims. I'll tell them that my husband works at Devo. Wilson, can't you realize that you can rise in that company? Ophelia, listen to me. I was doing some counting. And? With the salary I'm going to earn at Devo, we may not afford to maintain the same lifestyle as before. <laughs> That's your problem. You're the man in the house. Ha ha ha. Time has changed. Huh? You will now also have to find a job, my dear. Ah. <laughs> home sweet home. I still can't <sighs> believe Javier is going to dinner with that little girl. Neither do I. One skinny, ugly girl like her. Cassia, there's something here I'm just not getting. That crook woman was supposed to be out of Luanda. Yes, but now it's me who is not understanding. Firstly, you forced me to go to the hotel. Then, you didn't let me confront my dear photographer we sister. should not get carried away, Cassia. But we will in this way remain in the same position. I am pretty sure it was Victoria who sent the flowers to Kiluanji. She get crashed Divo's function and went straight, hovering around Javier and Kiluanji. She has the word opportunist written on her forehead. Yes, but then, what are you thinking of doing now? We have to figure out a way to remove her from our path. Once and for all. Mommy freaked at the idea of having to find a job, but it's about time. <laughs> Gee, did you see her eyes? They look like they're coming out of her face. It's just as well to send us to our rooms. Otherwise, we would have been exhausted by now. Catch. I can't imagine Mrs. Ophelia working like the mother of some of our friends. Take it. <gasps> Impossible, isn't it? She won't accept it, that's for sure. And if Daddy insists too much, she might just end up breaking his neck. It's official. You're completely mad. The counting is very simple, Ophelia. With my salary at the magazine, we will hardly pay our bills. Wilson, darling, it won't be long until you've been promoted or something. Are you prepared to give up the luxury you're used to? Are you? Luxuries? Which luxuries? I live a simple life, discreet, appropriate to our social standing. We're no longer enjoying such social standing. It's over. Wilson. Wilson, if you think that I'm going to buy cheap clothing and travel in those white and blue death traps, you are sadly mistaken. Ophelia, we all have to readjust. <laughs> I've done my part. Now it's your turn to find a job, my dear. You know what? I'm blocking my ears. I'm going to block them and not hear what you're saying. I can hear you. I can hear you. Why are you complicating you? things, I Ophelia? I can hear you. Say what? I can hear you. Stop that. Why are you complicating things? What did you just say? Let me simplify them then. Work comes after divorce in my dictionary. Got you? Here's the chili spurs, it's here. I thought you bragged about having the fastest taxi in Luanda. I might do. Didn't I come back, huh? Are you also going to tell me you have cooked everything? Oh. Listen, Jay. Your mother was there at home. Was she? Yes. What did she tell you? Nothing important. Just to say thank you for letting you work here, that's all. Just that? Yes. Why? Is there something else? No, nothing. I also told her you are going to be long here. So much you have to do, you know? Abby. Oh, Papa. Yes? Instead of talking so much, why don't you give us a hand here? Quick! Let's go! Let's go! Come, let's go! Start washing your hands first. Go wash your hands. Anna Maria could have also come along, huh? Her help would have been very welcome. No, she couldn't. She had to resolve a family problem. I am having dinner with Mr. Shavievos. This way, ma'am. Hello, my sister. Yeah, wind it, huh? 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 Wind it, huh?
Windeke intama mbwa kipa subir na vida gara bariga do rico. Winde, ah, winde, oh papa, winde, ah, winde, oh papa, ah. Winde que também são ah. aqueles juiz que só querem ah. dar mais de carteira ah. cheia. Winde, 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 ah. Winde, oh papá, Winde, ah. Mas como é o Winde que então quer dizer o quê? Ui, se não estás a compreender, hein? fica só já. Winde, 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 ah. Winde, oh papá, ah. Winde que são aquelas boas que até vendem a irmã para ter vida boa. Winde, ah, Winde, oh papá, Winde, ah, Winde, oh papá, ah. Winde que também são aquele juiz que para ter champanhe e cumbu fazem qualquer business. Winde, ah, Winde, oh papá, 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 ah. I wasn't expecting you to change your mind. It was a last minute decision. Can you please stop talking in code, woman? I don't understand what's going on. I thought you were coming along, Kilowanchi. But I see that you decided to bring company. Cassia just pitched up that Devo. Didn't you see her? Please feel free. I've just seen my colleague. I haven't seen him in a while. So I'm going to go talk to him. No, you can stay with us. Kilowanchi. Let's all go meet a friend, okay? Yes, that's best. I don't want to bother you. That photographer of yours, eh? She has a lot of kindness. Always looks grumpy when I see her. Anna Maria. Long time no see. Yeah. You look beautiful. What are you doing here? Hey, I don't know what to say. I don't know myself. Your son will be arriving in a week. Okay. And then? I even tried to convince Celia to take him to the US with her. But maybe he will adapt, huh? You don't need a fortune teller to see that things will not work. Not for him, not for us. I'm trying not to be a pessimist, huh? Marisa, I believe in what we are building up together. The son you don't know very well, with whom you have only spent a few days within your lifetime, who's coming to live with us. But we can't blame a Pedro for the way things are happening, huh? I'm not blaming him, Giorgio. Don't misunderstand me. But there's nothing I can do about it. All I've wanted is to always love you, to have our entire lives, just to look after one another. Marisa, the important thing is, for us not to give up. You never asked me why. I never wanted to have my own child. But this is something we never spoke about. Because I don't want to have children. Saying that all women have a maternal instinct is not true. I don't want the responsibility of bringing a child into this world. I'm sorry. I don't want it. But I never asked you to have a child. Yes, but now all of a sudden, I'm asked to look after a child that is not my own. I didn't ask for him. Marisa. I know I don't have the right. Okay, but please accept Pedro into our lives. You know how hard it is for a woman of my age not having children in this society. It's like being an extraterrestrial. An outcast. I decided this is the one I wanted. Marisa, make an effort, okay? For me. For us. Let's change something. Huh? I'm not sure I can, sure, sure. I know. I'm going to be a good father. But I'm quite certain I will never be a good mother. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where exactly is the house phone? I don't know, Mrs. Ophelia. Have you checked the phone's base? Already checked it. Where else, in the kitchen? Maybe it has fallen next to you somewhere. 
As far as I know, housekeeping is not my job, it's yours. It's not here. Maybe one of the kids took it to their bedroom. Is Gabby changing school? How come? What about our pills? How are we going to solve it? Her mother will get them from Europe. Yes, yes. Okay, I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye. What pills? Mommy! Can you tell me what rubbish you're talking, Luigi? In the last six months I was in London, I got a job as a freelancer. You know how difficult that is. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm now trying to sell some photos here in Luanda. I have some incredible pictures. I believe so. Did you attend Kilwanji's party? <laughs> it was so, so amazing. amazing. Oh my God. Kilwanji, awesome. how are you? Come over here and meet my friend. It was good to see you. Are you living so soon? Yes. The photos are beautiful, but I don't think I have much to do here anymore. Wait, Ana Maria. I think we really need to talk. Kids, I know you're tired, but there's no time to stop. Sorry. Mom, calm down. The wedding is only tomorrow. Have you any idea of the number of things we still need to do? What's that syrup? Go, son, go. Go, son. Don't worry, Mom. Everything is under control. So hardworking, guys. Hmm? Go for it. Strong. Huh? Hello, Dad. So? Just as well you've arrived, Sansao. Ah, if you need anything, just shout. I'll start tasting those sweets right away to Don't see how Don't exert they are. yourself, because I need you for something else. Asanjay, just do me a favor. Go to the office and bring me some 20 kg bags of sugar. Jairi, go help Masanjay. Mm. Mm. Listen, Sansao, you know half the world. Ah, that talk again, man. You and that maniac. Yeah. This is a serious matter, Sansao. Try to figure out what's happening between Jairi and Elizabeth. But why? <laughs> you can't imagine. His mother came here, caused so much trouble. You can't imagine, Sansao. Yes, but why did she cause trouble, Nasa? Because Jaire didn't sleep at home. But that is very strange. That guy is not a child. So that's what I'm trying to say. There's something funny here. Firstly, the son lied to us and didn't tell us he stayed over. Then his mother came here, screaming about the kid's life. Don't worry. I will investigate everything and find out what's going on. But one thing I'm sure of, Sansao. Something is going on between those two. I know that those are natural pills now. I just want to know why you're taking them. Mommy, shouldn't you be looking for a job like Daddy asked you? Luigi? Hey, they are to make me lose weight. And do side effects say that your mother and father shouldn't know about it? Don't be so strict, Mommy. These pills are not harmful. Then why are you taking them secretly? Actually, to avoid your sermons. Luigi, I want to know exactly who's selling you this stuff. Not anymore. The mother of one of my schoolmates got them from Europe by catalog. Ah, so now just because they come from Europe, they're not harmful. Don't worry, mom. I told you they are finished. My mate is leaving Luanda and her mother is done with the business. That's some good news. Not for them. Her mother used to make a lot of money from it. I see. Tell me, who did she sell those pills to? Well, all my mates used to take them, as well as their mothers. Hmm. You've just given me a great idea. <laughs> idea? What? Sila? Sila, come here! Sila! Yes, this is a failure. Come, sit. <laughs> My dear, are you still interested in making more money? I don't understand. 
that story. That story about your uncle, the cousins you have to support, all that moaning. It was true, wasn't it? Yes, Mrs. Ophelia. Of course, Mrs. Ophelia. But are you going to allow me to take another job, please? No! What an absurd idea! Have I got a business proposition for you? Do you understand, Anna Maria? I only came with Cassia because she wouldn't come. You are free to attend events with whoever you want. Listen, I didn't even invite her. She invited herself. You know how she is. Can I ask you a question, Kilwanj? Sure. Why are you trying to justify yourself to me? Um, because when I saw you here, I... I know how to keep my distances if that's what's worrying you. And let's be clear. Our relationship is strictly professional. And... What if I say, I would like it to be different? Different? What do you mean? Okay. Kiluanji, it's been a long time. How are you doing? And the father, how is it? Everything is okay. My regards to your family. Same to you. And say, oh, the wedding's today. We can't be late. Oh, my dear, I'm looking for the car keys. For the past half an hour, Dad. You should help me search for them rather than standing there like two statues. Did you check in the big chair? You spend most of your time there. Or maybe they fell into a cup. Instead of talking, you should rather help in the search. Remember to find out what I asked you to about Elizabeth and Jairi. I told you I'm on it, my dear. What are you talking about? About the missing keys, son. Dad. I'm rather concerned about arriving early and packing all that will be served at the wedding. Those kids can only be here, they don't have legs. I hope Georgia doesn't disappear. He must resolve his personal problems because it's time for him to help us. Don't worry, Mom. He will come. I hope so. Otherwise, either this wedding blesses Mufete, or we will all end up begging. Are you calmer? A bad night's sleep doesn't solve our problems. It won't prevent your son from coming. Marisa, we don't have to fight. We must be able to deal with what's going to happen. In these circumstances, I have to make a decision. Maybe you should make up the boy's bedroom. You came home late yesterday. How was the party? It wasn't a party. It was a photo exhibition. And other than the photos, it was a night to forget. Oh, looks like there's a man involved here. Did you argue with a boyfriend? What boyfriend, Victoria? Okay, it's not a boyfriend. So what's the problem? Is he married? He's not yet married, but I'm not going to talk to you about it. Unrequited love? I will not have you interrogate me, Victoria. Is it someone at Divo? If you want, I can help. You? Yes. I can give you some tips. Forget about my love life and worry about you and Shavir. Don't worry. Everything is running smoothly. My business is going to be a success. Shavir is going to become even richer. And your position at Devo will be stronger than Simit. <laughs> How can I believe that? Get serious. You just can. I'm having my first work meeting today. Oy. What a wonderful day, isn't it, my love? Mwah. <laughs> I don't understand where all that good mood is coming from. Oh, that jacket looks really good on you. Wear it. Why are you smiling so much, Ophelia? Mm. Haven't you forgotten you have to look for a job? No, I don't. Or failure. I've already explained to you very clearly that our... Everything's sorted out. Really? So why are you going to work? Can you tell me? You'll know soon enough. <laughs> or failure. You're not cheating on me, are you? Do you really think I'll do such a thing? 
Please pray, my darling. Pray that everybody will enjoy our food at that wedding, Sansa. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to bring a few slices of pineapple cake for me because after all, I also helped you. So, goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, son. A kiss for mm. you. Stop all that yeah. licking. Bye-bye. Fix your shirt. It looks terrible. Good morning, neighbors. Good morning, Sansa. Good morning, sir. So, Elizabeth, did you come to Fajer? Were well, you afraid you might get lost? I'm gonna go now. Hey, you! You work hard and do everything they need you to do. Now look after yourself. Go. Look, if you want to leave, take it now. I still have to feed Paolo before I start working with the taxi. No thanks. I have some business to deal with. It's not necessary. Elizabeth, tell me something. What's the matter with Jay? The kid is acting a little nervous. That useless kid is only giving me trouble. Why? Did something happen? Can I help in any way? I'm fed up with his nonsense, that's all. Bye bye. You lucky Hendo. I just spoke to the contact you gave me. Yes, that friend of Marisa who works with clothes. She's leaving Luanda later today, but she says she will see me. My dear Victoria, ever heard that saying, fortune favors the brave? Now pay attention. Don't you dare just sit back. Do you hear me? <laughs> Start investigating Kiluanji's love life. Yes, now. Shh. Shh. Don't complain. Goodbye. Cassia. How can you bring Kiluanji here so many times without him sleeping over? What are you doing? But mom, I've really tried. God knows it's difficult, but I've Cassia, tried. Cassia, don't put God in this matter. He's a lot more competent than you. I asked if he wanted a drink, to play checkers, watch a what movie. What an effort. Wow. He became mad when he saw the photographer at the exhibition. Which photographer? Yes, from Devo. Anna Maria. What was she doing there? <laughs> what do people normally do at exhibitions, Mom? Shh, Cassia. Let me think. But wait, it all makes sense. Sure, it does. But but what makes sense? It's Anna Maria who is throwing Victoria into Kiluanji's arms, Cassia. Do you really think so? That's it. This is why that scoundrel managed to sneak into Devo's ah. function. Ah. Ha. So, Anna? Now. It's time for you to take drastic steps, Cassia. Me? What do you mean by that? The soul of our business is simplicity. Do you understand? I do think so. I don't think it's that difficult, even for the mind of the help. Yes, Mrs. Ophelia, but I'm very scared. But what is this? It's not as if I'm asking you to go feed the lions. What if I can't talk to the ladies? What if I can't find the right words to say? That's the reason why I'm going to train you from today. Training? Training on what? Sales training, my dear. <laughs> With you on the stage and me behind you. <laughs> We're going to take over the entire city of Luanda with our products. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. In a week's time, Pedro will be here. And how are things between you and Giorgio? We have never argued this much before. We're both very nervous. And they say love conquers all. Is it really like that? You have to believe that things will change, Marisa. Hmm? And the exhibition. So you have changed your mind and went to meet Kilwanj. I hoped you wouldn't touch on this much. So, did you go or didn't you? Papa, mm. 
That Elizabeth man, what woman treats us in a very funny way? Port of Luanda, Port of Luanda, Port of Luanda. Haven't you heard uh, anything about her and Jay there at the precinct? No, just about the husband. Port of Luanda, Port of Luanda. The one who is missing? Yes. I think she turned her life into a living hell. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Port of Luanda, Port of Luanda. Seems that woman is hiding something. Definitely something fishy there. Oh, it is. Look here. Huh? Look, look. You are the girl who took to a place near Tivo, aren't you? Is it going to take long to start? Hey, Linda, so where is it happening today, huh? I have a very important meeting. I cannot be late. Well, then you came to the right person because I have the fastest taxi in the city of Luanda. <laughs> I should have never gone to that exhibition. So what happened after all? You can't imagine who is there with you. No. Yes. Cassia. Yes, my dear. It's your own fault. That's just what I needed. Now. So, why did you play cool by saying you wouldn't go with him? It's obvious that Miss Busybody took advantage. It was a mistake. Stupid. But there's one lesson I've learned, Marisa. Kilwanji and me are ancient history. But who took my phone off the hook? So, Luanda, are you enjoying the city? Mm-hmm. Are you staying for a long time? Uh-huh. If you need something, just shout. I know a lot of people. I believe you. Because you ask so many questions about people's <laughs> lives. Show some sympathy, lady. Did you know my father used to have the same gift? Why did we stop? I felt uh, a shaking in the steering wheel. More Kunga. We are going to have quite a lot of work. And now, what do I do? Now, we have two possible solutions. Either the young lady comes to change the tires, or she lets us do it. What do you think? This can't be happening. I have to be on time for the meeting. Come now, Sila. It's your turn now. Show our wonderful clients how to apply the facial cream of papaya. Take a bit with your finger. Not like that. Just a little bit. This is not that margarine you use in the kitchen to make lemon sweets. Here, clean yourself up and try again. Like this? Yes. Now take the cream with your fingers and apply it in a circular movement on the face. With your hands. And then say, delay the formation of wrinkles with this facial cream of papaya. Say it. Delay the, the wrinkles. The wrinkles with the cream made by by Papa. Facial of papaya. Facial of the fruit papaya. Not made by someone's daddy. Papaya is a fruit, not somebody else's pa. Facial of papa. Fruit's face. Look, let's try with the pills, okay? It's easier. Here. The pills, you just show them. Don't take them. You show and say, 
for a strong and toned skin, try our cocoa milk based pills. Now say it. These pills can be used for afro, the skin, the cocoa, the, the milk of the cocoa. Enough! I don't know, Felia. I don't understand you. It's not worth training you. You're already tired. You don't understand what? To whom are we selling all those things? We? It's you! Me? Am I going to sell those things? Sila, my job in this business is to think, and yours is to sell. And don't make a mistake, not even with a comma. But which of the scream is like a comma? <laughs> You look like turtles. Can you not do it any faster? Hey girl, are you also giving orders here or what? This is the most important meeting of my life. I have someone waiting for me. Hey, lady, hold on, okay? She's going to be leaving Luanda soon. So, lady, everybody here has something to do, okay? I cannot lose this business. Oh, there's a good remedy for you. If you don't want to wait, then pull up your sauce, get up and beat it. What does he want? Hello? Victoria, Victoria, Victoria. I have some news for you. This is not the best time to talk, Henda. I am in the middle of a crisis. There was a flat tire in the van, and I don't know how I'm going to get to the meeting with Marisa's friend. She's leaving Luanda very soon. If the business fails, what am I going to tell Shavia? I am totally, totally fed up with this miserable life. Bye. Is it gonna take much longer? Almost done, girl. That's what I heard 30 minutes ago. Did you understand it all, Cassia? Here I go again with one of your crazy ideas, right? I hope you'll not phone me again in two minutes with your queries. I told you, I know what to do with Kiluanji. Ooh, bravo, my daughter. While you are busy with Kiluanji, I will deal with Anna Maria. What are you going to do with the photograph? I'm going to sort her out. That cheeky one who thinks she's smart. Throwing her sister on top of Kiluanji. That will be the day. I hope this will not end badly. And I hope it will end soon. To allow me to focus on my position as editor-in-chief. That's it. My daughter, instead of looking after your life, Cassia. Nadir. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Rosa. Anna Maria, I need to see the photos about the report on wines. Yes, just let me finish the... No, now, in my office. Ah, my intuition is right, Uncle. I caught my father last night talking to Luena. A father talking to a daughter in London. Is that so strange? You should have seen how quickly he hung up the phone when he saw me, knowing what I wanted to say. You mean? You still suspect they're cooking up something behind your back? Of course they are, Uncle. Two people who never got along with each other suddenly phoning each other? Kuluanji, even if that is true, there's little you can do about it. Why don't you Luena arrives and you will then find out what's going on? And let them conspire in the meantime? Didn't Javier say Luena will be in Lawanda before her birthday? That's not far away. I see I really have no alternative. Ah! And then Ophelia, have you convinced her to help with the household expenses? Do you really want to know? Don't tell me that she's really going to work this time. It's the biggest event of the year, Kluanji. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's true. She's found something to do. But what? That's the missing piece of the puzzle. She wouldn't tell me. Hello, Lucinia. You must come over to the house. You can't imagine what my maid has to show you, Louisa. <laughs> it's all coming from Europe, and it looks marvelous. My darling, marvelous, Maria. That's wonderful. Can't wait to see you then, Linda. Later. 
All these sly women are coming over. Now all I need to do is start earning money. Money. <laughs> How? This is a joke bar. Girl. Hey, girl. Girl. Do you want to continue your journey or are you staying here? What do you think? Huh? If I should end up missing this meeting, I'll come run after you and twist your leg like a chicken. Oh my God, Anna Maria, how miserable. These photos look like they've been taken by an amateur. Can I talk? <laughs> Even my great grandmother would have done better. I used exactly this same technique last month in the report, the one about old jewelry, and you praised me. I praised you because they were good. Now I'm criticizing because they are not. That's one of my functions here at this magazine. And if that's your opinion, what do you want me to do? That you talk to me. About what? I want to know what's going on because it's obvious you weren't focused on your work when you were taking the photos. Cross, I really told Listen you. to me. Be upfront. I know very well that your sister is still in Luanda. What Victoria does is none of your... What did I tell you about her? That you didn't want to see her. So what are you going to do? Or do you think I don't know about your little plan? A little plan? Don't play innocent. If there's anything that annoys me, it's hypocrisy. Rosa, I can't prevent her from continuing to stay in Luanda. But you can keep her far away from this magazine, as well as from all the people working here. Honestly, I really don't understand what your problem is with my sister. That's if you still want to be employed with us, okay? Did Rosa say that? She actually threatened to fire me, Marisa. That little bitch. And all that just because of Victoria. Because of your sister? But why? How many times have I told you, Marisa, where there's Victoria, there's trouble? Rosa says she wants to see her miles away from Divo. But why didn't she return to Moshiko? I'm sorry. I don't understand why all the whining by Rosa over your sister. It's because of the function at Divo. Have you forgotten that she gave crashed it? Just because of that? Hmm. There must be something else she didn't tell you. I can't see what. Do you think it's normal for Rosa to attach so much importance to a girl she hardly knows? No, I don't. But what are you thinking? Hmm, honestly, the impression it gives her, your sister is meddling in the life of Rosa. Can't figure out how. Hurry up, kids. I want that food packed properly. Mom, mm -hmm. what was that talk this morning about Jaya and Elizabeth? Ah? Huh? What are you talking about, son? You're asking that to try to find out something about them. Take care of the juice, son, and I'll take care of the rest. Come on. Everything ready? Almost. Why? But the juice should have been ready by now. We're finishing. We should have at least by now loaded the boxes into the van. Already? Yes, already. We have less than an hour to reach the venue and start preparing everything. And may our Lady of Light, Mishima, help us. My God, we'll be late for this wedding. Let's go. Get out, pal. What a delay. One doesn't know how to drive, the other is slower than turtle. Hey, I can't believe you're so rude, oh girl. No, Kalels. How's it going, pal? How is your bar going? Hey, but you know a lot of people. Do you know my neighbor, Elizabeth? Yes, that one. Listen, what do you know about the man? What? Are you serious? The more I think about that story about Rosa, the more confused I am. What does she have against Victoria? I told you, Anna Maria, Rosa might have been reacting to something Victoria did to her. But what? They hardly know each other. How? I have no idea. But for her to threaten to fire you, it must be serious. Oh dear, if she fires me. There's one person that can help you. Who? I know that you are not in the mood to talk to him, but you should talk to Kiluanj. <laughs> With Kiluanj? 
Forget it. Don't be a fool. It's a professional matter. He must be aware that Rosa threatened you. After all, he's the chief editor. For now, anyway. Exactly. Talk to him now. And that which Rosa will certainly not kick you out of here. I've sorted out that Anna Maria photographer. If she behaves well, she will keep that woman, Victoria, far away from Devo. Otherwise, she will bear the consequences. Well, tell me, Cassia, have you set the scene? You can't imagine the hard work it cost. If only it was for someone nice, not for silly Kiliwanji. This time you're not going to let your future husband get away, Cassia. Did you give the employees the day off as agreed? Yes, ma'am. Everything has been dealt with. It can't go wrong this time. <laughs> Kilwanji is going to fall for it like a duckling. So those are the starters, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Miss Anji. Hey, be careful. Be careful, kids. Don't spoil anything. The bean stew and the lamb. It's all here, mom. I'm going to start putting the meat in the van with Jaya So now. let me see how you're putting that in. Don't you trust me? I trust you, my son, but I prefer to check it now rather than regret later. Sarah is not answering the phone. <sighs> she must be heating up with the stress of this wedding function. Green word, green word, green word. Listen, boy. I think we have to buzz up to the country. What? Now? I need to talk to Nazarene. She's going to be amazed when I tell her what I found out about Elizabeth. Okay, Polly, let's go. Not good news, Kiluanji. They remain advertisers and they don't want to renew their contract with Devo. But well, that can happen. It's a distinctive label for a magazine. An important source of income. I've already tried to talk to them, but I don't think they'll change their minds. Make an appointment for a meeting with Eduardo von Ada. I'll deal with this matter eye to eye. Okay. I'm still the editor-in-chief of this magazine. Let's see if I can convince him to stay with us. I hope so. Hello. Kilo Andre. My love. I need you. I'm sorry, Cassia. I'm in the middle of a meeting. I can't talk now. You won't believe what happened. It was a terrible thing. I really need you. You have to help me. I didn't have the courage to ring my mother. But what is the problem? My house was robbed. You have to help me, Kiluanji. I need you. Please. Yes, I will wait for you here. <laughs> You fool. <laughs> I have to leave. I'm going to resolve a small problem, but it won't take long. Something I can help you with? No, I want you to arrange that meeting with the advertiser. That matter has to be resolved today. I'll be back just now. Kiluanji, I'm sorry. Yes, Anna Maria. I need to talk to you. You mean now? If possible. I was just about to leave. It's important. I know, but... Cassia's got a problem and... Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you continue? We'll talk later then. Forgive me, but it's really an emergency. Even if it wasn't, Kiluanchi, you don't have to explain yourself, okay? Are you ready? You're nervous? It's time for the client to start arriving. Oh, Mrs. Ophelia, what if I change the watermelon lipstick with the pills from the banana? Do it as I taught you, Sila. Ah, Sila. If dogs can learn, surely you can. I think it would be better for you to do it. The introduction, at least. No. Me selling? <laughs> Just now, you'll be saying that I can also be selling bail clothes. Ah, quick, quick. We've got to sell everything before Wilson gets home. Maybe he could help me. Don't you think so? Oh, my husband has nothing to do with this. Sila. This is our little secret. Just the two of us. Go, 
quickly and open the door. It must be one of my friends. Ah, it's your first client. Go. Ha. My darling. Mwah, mwah. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Now come and sit next to me. This feeling, guys. We aren't forgetting anything, Mom. I assure you. Shall we go? Yes. It's just this, and then foot on the accelerator. Okay, let's go. Hi, Nazare. It's just as well that I'm catching you here. We're leaving. Hey, kids, are you sure you haven't forgotten the appetizers? Yes, everything is in. Bye, Dad. Bye, Yuri. Ooh, listen. I have to tell you something. It's very serious, Nazareth. What else has happened, Sansao? Tell me. Hmm. You will not believe what I have to tell you. I couldn't believe it when they told me the Speak news. Speak to me, Sansao. Do you want to kill me now? You won't believe what I have found out about Elizabeth, your neighbor. Sansao, please tell me now. Can't you see I'm in a hurry? Your neighbor, Elizabeth, has been arrested before. <gasps> really? Cassia? Cassia! Oh, my love! Thank you for coming! You are very nervous on the phone. Embrace me! Embrace me! Calm down, Cassia. Stay with me here, please. Don't go away. Don't leave me alone. Please! Never again! <laughs> Incredible. It's bad enough traveling in a van. But even worse, that old car's tire went flat. Listen, Victoria, I'm running out of excuses for skipping work at the magazine. I can't always keep leaving at 12 o'clock. If you hear, it's because it's been resolved. Now for what matters. How did the meeting go? There was no meeting. Don't you know I spent hours waiting for them to change that flat tire? When I got there, Marisa's friend had already gone. Great. And now? And now. We now have to find somebody else to help us in the clothing business. I've already noticed that you and Bad Moods are quite close friends. But get ready to hear more bad news. What's happened? I've discovered something about your dear target, Kiloai. What are you waiting for? Tell me. It seems somebody else is also in love with him. Do you know who it is? Yes, of course. And so do you. Who are you talking about? Your sister. No much goes Wind it, huh? Wind it, hold up. Wind it, huh? Wind it, hold up. Wind it, huh? Wind it, hold up. Wind it, hold up. Wind it, hold up. Wind it, Wind it, hold up. 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 Wind it, Wind it, hold up. Wind it, Wind it, hold up. Winder, Windet, 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 uh, windet, oh, papa, windet, ah. Uh. Mas como é, ui? Windet, então, quer dizer o quê? Ui, se não estás a compreender, não fica só já. Windet, 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 ah. Windet, oh, papa, ah. Windet, que são aquelas boas, que até vendem a irmã para ter vida boa. Windet, ah. Windet, oh, papa, windet, ah. Windet, oh, papa, ah. Winda que também são aqueles juízes que para ter champanhe e cumbu fazem qualquer business. Winda, Winda, oh papa, Winda, Winda, oh papa, Winda, Winda, oh papa, Winda, Winda, oh papa. How can that happen? Right in the middle of the day? Since when do robbers have scheduled times and dates, Kiluanji? It's not that, Cassia. It's not normal to rob a house during the day. A house is robbed at night. But they are not working. They are off to work. I ran and hid there in the cupboard. At least they didn't hurt you. 
I trembled, Kilowanji. I thought I was gonna die. Never to see you again. But you have to report this to the police. To the police? Don't worry, I will. No, it's not necessary. Why not, Cassia? Your house has just been robbed. You have to call the police. But I'm still very nervous. I don't want to talk about it. I understand, but... I just wanted to put your arms around me. To feel protected. That you are going to stay with me? Cassia, I have some business to attend to at the magazine. Just stay a little longer, please. I know you're nervous, but I can't... Ten minutes. Just enough to calm me down. I feel like something bad will happen to me. Okay, ten minutes. Then I'm going to prepare you something. It's all a mess in here. I don't drink during the day, Cassia. You're not going to leave me alone, are you? After all that happened to me. Okay, but I'll have to go back to Devo. I still can't believe it, Tansal. Are you really sure Elizabeth has been arrested? What could she have done? Well, that's what Carnelson told me at the bar. You know him, he's always been an honest man, and he hates gossip. Tansal, it's one thing to be bad-tempered and stone-faced, and another to be a criminal. What could she have done? That's what I need to find out. So then do it, because I'm seriously itching to know why that woman was put in jail. I will try. I will try. Tansal, I have to go because Yuri and Jojo are outside waiting impatiently for me. Go, 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 my love. Make this wedding a success. Do you know when Anna Maria is going to be with Kiliwanji? Never. Over my dead body. But she's your sister, Victoria. Don't you care about her happiness? What is she thinking? That they're going to live together happily ever after? I am not going to allow that in our wildest dreams. I know you want Kiliwanji, but so does she. Never. Means sympathy is not going to steal my golden retirement. Put that in writing. But I think he's also interested in her. He was. You should use the past tense, not anymore. I will do whatever it takes to keep it that way. Do you think I'm going to put up with Shavi and his temper? Me? I don't care anymore. As soon as the clothing business is up and running, Shavi can look for fresh meat elsewhere. Bye-bye, sugar daddy. Hello, little son. And how are you going to keep the business going? You missed the meeting with Marisa's girlfriend. It's easy. You have to get me another contact. Beg your pardon? Do I look like a telephone directory? Do you want your share of the business or not? As well as a future with hardly any work and plenty of fun. <laughs> I thought so. So keep an eye on every movement of Anna Maria and Kilowanji. I want to know everything, but everything that happens between those two. Taxi, wait! My dear friends, I'm glad you came to see Les presentation. I have offered my house because I was sure you would love what she has got to show you here today. And now, let's start the sales presentation. <clears throat> this cream, this cream for the face, is made of Italian apples. And yeah, it's used by um, Tira, Tyra Banks. 
uh, this this body cream and is made of um, provincial herbs um, and has a fragrance a smooth fragrance it comes from France and and it's used by um, Leila Lobsch Follow up, my brother. I need your help. Just shout, my friend. If you want to surprise Nazare, I have oils, lingerie, gathers, all there. Oh, stop it. This is serious, Paul. Okay, shoot then. You have a cousin that works in the police, don't you? In criminal investigation. Paulo, this is the same thing. I need you to ask him for some information, but this has to be just between us, okay? Really? It's about my neighbor, Elizabeth. But I'm only able to talk to him tonight. Okay, but I'm going to thank you well in advance, man, okay? Thank you very much for coming, Eduardo. Your insistence made it hard to refuse. Where is Kirwanji? I don't have much time. He'll be here soon. Shall we go to his office? Nadir? Yes, Mr. Archu. Please call Kirwanji. We need him here immediately. Yes, sir. Let's go. I have to answer. Now? But we are so busy here. It must be important, Cassia. More important than us, my love. Let's enjoy this. Tell me, any news on Kritora Kajibanga? I spent the whole day watching her. She came out of a building here at Kokeros and left her. Uh... So what are you waiting for? I want you to find out with whom that Windek has met. I don't know. Give a tip to the security guy. Just find out. Very good afternoon. Yes. I'm doing the census 2012 and I'm here to do a survey on other flats in the building. Could you spare 10 minutes of your time? Anna Maria, Anna Maria, what must I do now? I've tried calling Kiluanji more than 10 times. He's not answering. Kiluanji, leave him a message, Nadir. I did. I'm sorry. Did you say Kiluanji isn't here? Yes. But wasn't he supposed to meet a certain advertiser? Yes, but he left, and Mr. Arthur asked me to call him, but he's not answering my calls. I'll ring him. Maybe he'll answer seeing my number. Leave it to me, Wilson. I'll take care of it. Are you sure? Go and deal with will. the paper. Nadir, keep trying to get hold of Kiliwanji. Though I doubt he'll answer his telephone. Why do you say that? The advertiser, where is he? I told you I don't have much time. Where is Kiliwanji? I think he must be stuck in traffic. I canceled two meetings to be here, only to be kept waiting. Eduardo, my darling. It's been so long. How are you, Rosa? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I understand you're waiting for Kiliwanji, but he's had uh, a small setback, but he should be here very soon. I cannot keep waiting here. I understand. But I'm certain that Eduardo won't mind meeting with me. Or do you mind, my dear?
$25.99. We've made a hundred thousand. Kwanzaa. What else could it be? Grains of rice? Oh my god. I never thought this would go so well on the first go. Hmm. Harisila, we have to clean up everything before Wilson gets back. Yes, Mrs. Ophelia. I can't wait to see Wilson's face when I show him all this money. And, uh, what about me? <gasps> Sila, you, I, I, I almost forgot to pay you. Let's do our accounting. Good. The idea was mine. That's about, hmm, 50%. Then, for training you in sales, that's another 10%. Then, um, renting the premises from me. Communication costs, catering, public relations, that's all done. Um, okay, that's <laughs> it. Um, here's your profit share, dear. It was a great success, Sila. <laughs> Arturo and I are just friends. Very well. Can we now talk about your occupation? Listen, I don't have much time. You ask what I do, I'm a journalist. Very well. Arturo is a financial manager. We both work for the same company. Oh, is it? But wait. You're... You? Mm -hmm. Oh, Rosie, you convinced me. <laughs> so let's keep our agreement as it is perfect. At least for one more year. Send me the contract and assign it today. Good. Once again, we apologize for Kiliwanji's absence. But you know, he's the boss's son. <laughs> As always. Tell me right away, what did you find out? I know who it was that Victoria visited. And also, it's someone you know. And why are you saying that? Because he works at your magazine. A Devo? Yes, madam. He is a journalist. I want his name immediately. His name is Hender. Hender Salvador. the little prince softening your heart. I'm trying to get some work done, Victoria. Okay, I get it. I have to find out. Must be someone at the magazine. Big Xavier is not really your style. Just stop your nonsense. Is it a little worse, Kiliwanji? Leave me in peace, Victoria. Wow. Calm down, little sis. Why don't you forget about my love life and deal with your crazy business with Xavier? Business is running and there is nothing to be dealt with. Really? Then what about your meeting today? How did it go? As to be expected. Very well. That's great. Bear in mind that this business of yours has to work before I lose my job because of your foolishness. It must be Marisa. Hmm. Did you arrange for something? She was going to be alone tonight, and because life has been tough on her of late, I've invited her. Hi. It's not too late to send me packing. I have not been such great company recently. Nah, just relax. Good evening. How are you? So, Aunt Giorgio? Have you spoken to him? How's the preparation for the wedding function going? You can't believe it. It couldn't be better. The evening would have been more than perfect. 
if we didn't have to serve the drinks. It's all under control. Only the dessert is left to go. <laughs> Did you see my mother's face when I said we had to serve the drink? I thought she was going to kill us. <laughs> Nazari will only rest when the wedding is over. Did you speak to your father about settling things after the wedding? Yes, of course. He's not going to forget it. No, Mr. Samsung Kuribota. <laughs> he must be counting seconds to catch the end of the party. Os cozinheiros, padeiros e pasteleiros Tudo pronto para avançar Para o banquete ao jantar Champagne francês na mesa Todos para a sobremesa Música para o bom serão Com rumba, tango e baião Good day. Samso, I have to come to you, man. Did you find out anything about Elizabeth? You are not going to believe it. Oh, Paulo, did you speak to your police cousin? What did he say? Elizabeth has been arrested. Yes, that I already know, but for what reason? Well, I did manage. <laughs> Come on, don't keep us waiting. Speak. She tried to murder her husband. darling. <laughs> With all this kindness, what are you up to? Nothing, my love. So where's that smile coming from? It's from the surprise I have for you. Here in my hands, hidden behind my bag, darling. Ooh, I'm getting worried. Uh, money doesn't cause worries. Money solves them. Promises. What's this? Oh, didn't you say that I had to participate in home economics? Take it, darling. Oh. But this must be more than 50,000 Kwanzas. More than 80. <laughs> Ophelia, where did you get the money? The money? All women have their delights. It's part of what makes us mysterious. Tell me about your dead Devo. Ophelia, yes, the, the money... The money is ours, full stop. Uh, tell me, how was your dead Devo? What do you want me to tell you? It's a donkey work. Over and above that, I got worried. Kulanji went missing and... How come? He missed an important meeting. Nobody could reach him. And it was strange of him to do that at a time when he thinks Javier is going to remove him from the position of editor-in-chief. <gasps> do you think Xavier would do such a thing to his own son? Mm -hmm. That's horrible. You never know what's in my brother's head. But it's rarely anything good. This is blatant incompetence. How could Kiliwanji be so, so irresponsible to miss an impossible meeting at Devo with an advertiser? I'm sorry to say this to you, Xavier, but I mean this your son? Mm, is a disaster. And what do you expect me to do? Send him to a glacier or drop him in a desert island? It's becoming quite clear he's incapable of running Devo. The conclusion is that we have lost one of our biggest clients. No, we didn't lose them. I persuaded Eduardo to stay with us. I resolved it once again. <sighs> At least. My question is the following. Why don't you offer me Devo's management once and for all, Shafir? Good evening, Mr. Disaster. Dad, I imagine you know by now what happened. I can explain. And who says I'm looking for explanations? Let me talk, please. It's good that you are here. And I am glad Rosa is here as well. Now I can resolve this matter once and for all. What matter? It's obvious, Kiluanji. Starting from today, Devo has a new editor-in-chief. 
Good evening. Here she is, the youngest director of the best-selling magazine in Angola. Hi. Were you not missing your sister, Kiliwangi? Why? Why didn't you tell me outright that Luena was replacing me at Diva? I only wanted you to know now. Can't you live with that? That's the reason why you were always talking secretly on the telephone. Don't blame our you father. You don't need to defend him, Luena. It's my fault. I needed more time to think about the offer. Really, Javier? I'm amazed at you. Luena has been living abroad for a long time. She doesn't know about Divo. Luanda, Angola? How will she manage a magazine published here, hmm? And me? What's the idea? Pack up and leave? Is that it? That decision is in the hands of Luena. I'm counting on you, Kiloranji. And on you too, Rosa. You're very important people at Divo. Hmm. We are much more experienced than Luena, aren't we? And when precisely do you start? I'm ready now. Just get me in my own office. Over my dead body. As far as I'm concerned, that little girl Luena, ha, huh, won't have a bench to sit at Divo. But what are you going to do now, ma'am? <laughs> Xavier offered her divorce management. Didn't Kiluanji's reign come to an end? Same way Luena will have a short lifespan. Watch out, Rosa Betancourt. Who do you think you're talking to? Do I look like Cassia Betancourt? It's always the same thing. Every time you get angry, you just walk over everybody and insult them. So it's best to ignore you, isn't it? Because I don't have the mental capacity eh, to endure your silly questions, you ignorant. Perhaps you should forget about that nonsense of becoming the editor-in-chief at Devo. Never! Never! Are you out of your mind or what? Devo's management will be under me. Me! Ha! Huh? Come, Marisa. Tell us, who is my sister's little prince? Some working colleague? Victoria? She's not telling anything. So this mystery man can only be... I told you a long time ago to stop this conversation. Calm down, sis. No need to get all worked up. Hi, my friend, I'm sorry. This dinner was meant for you to relax. Now you have Victoria to put up with. Listen, did you find out what's up between your sister and Rosa? That snake wants you fired. No, but I don't want her to know about Rosa's threats about her either. And Kiliwanj, have you tried talking to him again? He left me hanging, remember? Hi, Anna Maria. He needs to know that Rosa is threatening you. I don't want him to know anything. You know, I have even thought of taking a day off to see what I'm going to do with my life. What on earth do you mean? Hi, Marisa, I have to make some decisions. I don't know if it's a good idea to continue working at Devo. What? You're going to resign? No, nothing like that. But I can request a transfer to another publication owned by Shabir. Let me free. Ah, that's why Elizabeth's husband suddenly went missing? She tried to kill him, but he ran away. Hold it, he was at Kuzu. Why wasn't she staying there? Well, I don't know, Sansa. I don't know. Paolo, why didn't you ask that question of your police cousin? No. Ish. Oh, Paolo. Hey. If Lesines Kuki will be mourning you eating kanjika and bopping by now, you had better talk to that man again. Oh, Sansa, calm down, man. What's wrong? Ah, go, 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 and find out why Elizabeth didn't stay at Kuzu. I still have to help my Nazare. <laughs> go, man. <laughs> Oh my God, we have finally arrived. Ah, don't exaggerate, woman. A real wedding is from dawn till dusk. It's never boring. Oh, Sansao, I swear, if I had to serve another soup, I would faint. No, you wouldn't. I saw how excited you were, huh? Mwah. The service was spectacular. I handed out all my cards. They nearly asked for our autographs. Well, this is all we needed. A job without interruption or stress. Hey, we showed them who we are. We are a successful company. Ow. Well, gentlemen, you are really good company, but I must leave now. 
take up all your things because I still have to drive my taxi all day, huh? Yes, Jairi is offloading his van with me while Masanji is going to offload what came in the taxi. Let's go. Wait, wait. What's That's how... Where's Elizabeth? Oh, my God. I could not stop thinking of her the whole night. Just imagining her arrested. Oh, didn't I tell you? Oh, I know why she was arrested. Really? Why? She tried to kill her husband. Oh, my God, Sansao. Don't tell me such a thing. What would make Elizabeth do such a crazy thing? Well, I don't know that part, and I don't know anything else. That my man, stupid Paolo, forgot to ask more questions. Ah. Ah, okay. So we'll talk later at home. All okay? right. Good work, then. Bye. Do you need something? You don't need any help? No, everything's okay. Well, if your sister is ready for work, you better start preparing her to take her place at Devo, okay? With me, it can be today already. Your sister is going to need an office. Take my office. I would prefer not. Why not? Some kind of shame? Devo must surely have other offices. You keep yours, I'll have my own. In fact, Daddy, I want to decorate it my own way. Oh, well, resolve it between the two of you. I have a meeting and I am really running late. Love you, my darling. Bye. Kiluanji, I know you feel very hurt, but try to understand my side as well. You're very wrong. If I have to hand over Devo's management to somebody else, I'd rather give it to my sister. True that. Even if knowing that you and dad had arranged this behind my back, but it's fine. It's nothing personal. Obviously not. And everything in favor of Shevier Voss. Of his money, his success. Look, Kiluanji. Honestly, I, I thought that your clash of egos had already gone away with your teenage years. Luena, don't deceive yourself. What dad did to me, he can also do to you. When the time comes, he'll betray you. Stab you in the back. As he did to me and without hesitation. Thanks for the advice, but I know how to take care of myself, Kiluanji. Good. Well, you already said you want me at Devo. What do you want me to do? Let me first start, and we'll see what the best position for you is, okay? I'll get your office ready as soon as possible. I don't want to be blamed for any delay. Bye-bye. Kiluanji. You know I want the best for you, don't you? Have a nice day. So, mommy, are you feeling better today? Mm, what do you think? I didn't sleep all night. Oh, don't tell me you were thinking about Luena. No, my girl. I was just thinking of Miss Universe. So, tell us. What are you thinking about kicking out of Devo? For now, nothing. <laughs> I'm going to use the predator's principle. Firstly, to observe, see the praise movement, wait for just the right moment, and attack. <laughs> it's fine with me, provided you don't feel a sudden urge to assault me again. Look at me. Less, my girl, less. In the meantime, we have other pressing matters to worry about. Hold on. What have we? Yes, Cassia. Yes, we have. Don't forget Anna Maria's sister wants Kiluanji. Mm. Mm? I'm trying. I swear I'm trying. But with you constantly pressurizing me, it's so difficult. My dear daughter, to refresh your memory. I just thought you would be proud of me for the alleged robbery, were you? Do you remember? Mm, I was. And so... But even better than that was discovering that Victoria has been contacting Henda. The magazine's journalist? That same one. Oh. <laughs> What's left is to find out what she wants from him. Nadia, where's Henda? He's not yet arrived, Mrs. Rosa. Call him and tell him to come here. Uh -huh. 
Smith will have to wait, Victoria. I haven't found another contact. You have until the end of the day to deal with that. Cheville will be asking me to report back. If the business fails, my sister will drag me to Mexico by my hair. You're unlucky, my friend. There's nothing I can do about it today. Adele is coming to Luanda and I have to interview her for the magazine. So until tomorrow, I have to have this business with the old slimy man. Open wallet. Good morning. Yes, yes. I'll send an email. Arrange a meeting. And a good day to you too. Are you still here? Aren't you going to be late? I'm not going in today. I'm off. For any particular reason? I have a couple of things to sort out. And you? Aren't you going to work on your business with Xavier? Yes, I am. In fact, I really need to borrow your computer. Be my guest. I don't want any excuses if that business of yours fails. You can't blame me. Just to send a few emails. Victoria. Don't step over the line with Shavir, or else you get both you and me in trouble. There's no way I can lose my job. Very well, it's all washed and clean. Now we'll just wait for the next event. Shall I place the trays in the cabinet? Oh no, what's that? You can do it later. You must be very <sighs> tired. <laughs> Listen, diary. In all those years living alone with your mother, you never heard anything about your father? No. Doesn't she give you any news? She says nothing? No. No one talks about him at home. And I can't even mention his name. And will you sort these clothes out then? Yes. And after that, I'm going to bed. Oh, I wish. Uh, I was going for a quick nap. I still have to prepare Pedro's bedroom. There's one week left, isn't it? Yes, but there's still a lot to be done. I have to prepare dinner for Marisa with some good wine because I'm going to have to deal with the issue about the Pedro. Relax. She'll end up accepting Pedro's arrival. you see, Giorgio. Uh. If Rosa has arrived in the morning acting in that mood, I can't imagine the rest of the day. Hmm? Direct shock. It looked like Kelima from the island. She asked for Hendrick and sent for him. Hmm. And something certainly happened. The issue is, what? Good morning. Good morning, sir. Oh, Kiliwanji, I really needed to talk to you. I can't right now, Marisa. I have an urgent matter to deal with. Nadir, has my uncle arrived? Wait, give me time to think. Your sister is in Luanda. She arrived yesterday. And she's the new editor-in-chief at Devo. That's what my father was cooking behind my back, uncle. Ah. Well, at least the mystery is over now. Luena is trading in a minefield. Sooner or later, she will suffer the same fate as I have. Been demoted? You know my father. As soon as he loses interest in her, he'll show her the door out. Mm -hmm. And what about you? What's going to happen to you? I don't know yet. Luena wants me to continue working, but we'll decide only after taking office. We'll just have to wait and see. And when is that happening? As soon as you get her in office. Mm -hmm. Did your sister come alone from London? Mm. Kulanji? Mm-hmm. But didn't she have a boyfriend there? Not that I know of. Now that we have arrived, can we talk? Are you ready? So now, Mom, what happened between Jer and Elizabeth? <sighs> Your dad's found out Elizabeth was in jail. Our neighbor was taken to jail. But why? She tried killing her husband. I don't believe it. Now you can see why Jerry behaves like that. Timid. Quiet, surely because of all these issues happening at home. I just hope he's not crazy like his mom. Oh, don't say that, son. He seems to be a good boy. He's quiet, shy, and means well. And what does one say about appearances? That they are deceiving, isn't it? Yes, son. But do you think that he will cause any problems? I don't know, mom. <sighs> the other day he got himself into trouble at the prison. Was it a mistake hiring him? Oh, son, don't say that. Stop thinking that way. For goodness sake, don't say Mom, that. I know it's not a pleasant matter, but maybe we should start thinking about whether it's good to hire him. Is that all, Atul? Please give more priority to Luena's office. Okay. I'll do the best I can. I'd like her to begin as soon as possible. I don't want them to think that I'm delaying my sister's entry into Devo. Okay. You know, I'm 
I'm going to miss you after you resign from Devo management. Thanks, Arthur. Someone once wrote that a life without challenges is not worth living. But I just have to move forward. So when are you announcing the changes to the rest of the staff? That's not my task anymore. My father, my sister, let them deal with it. Okay. I'll let you know as soon as I have news about the office. Marisa? I'm available now. Can you see me in my office? Damn your incompetence. Ugh. What did I order you to do, Nadir? To contact Hender. And now? Why isn't he here? I didn't ask you to call the Vatican. Hender is walking away. He's not supposed to be in the office. But since Nadir is so competent, I've already called him. He must come straight to my office as soon as he sets foot here. Hear me? Uh -huh. May I? Yes, come in. Sit down. Did you want to speak to me? Yes, but not about the magazine. And then? It's about Anna Maria. Kill one G. What's this? You look at it, but don't touch it. Is it that hard, dear sis? Have you been able to use the computer? Yes, yes. Just imagine. I have 